so many miles underfoot, and still the world feels undiscovered. So much conflict that the idea of peace seems wishful. But we press on, for one day we will find wishes can come true. Let us begin. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Oddities D and D. You guys yeah. miss out on the greatest pre-show ever because as soon as I tell these jokers that, hey, is everybody ready? We talk about bashing in tits, panda punching, and makeup <laughs> tutorials, and rah, 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 and just all this kinds of stuff. I wish to God I was pre-recording this kind of stuff so we could do like a montage clip at the end of all these sessions because it is gold each and every time I try to be serious. <laughs> Yes. Welcome uh, to the show. So glad everybody's here with us. And before we get started, we're going to go around, introduce all the players in the room tonight, starting with Colt. Oh, I'm Chuck. I'm here to crack wise and talk smack. I play half orc rogue Colt. <laughs> I forgot. My forgot name. your name. Who is, is, <laughs> who is, I'm very tired. Who is. <laughs> Here to crack under pressure and talks with a nervous stammer. Move along. <laughs> Across from the nervous stammer, Nagheim. I almost said Xander. Oh. Nagheim. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start. Oh, Lord. If you have a daddy issue, here's a daddy tissue. <laughs> I'm Zan Zan, and I play Nagheim, the trial wizard. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's just nasty. <laughs> Up from there, we have Rose. I, I was gonna go with a mommy thing, but I can't now. I just can't. <laughs> um, hi, it's me, Fred. I, I, I play Rose. Amazing. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> just pieces out. Last but not least, we have Viria. Hello, I am the tenth step that sends you spiraling dag down. <laughs> Sorry. Relatable <laughs> <up> content. <laughs> I play the Hexblade Warlock on a downward spiral, very. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we all need therapy. To some degree. You're welcome. Hey, well, and... <laughs> all right. Well. Now that we've got our introductions out of the way, who is going to be reading the recap today? I can do it. Go for it. Do it. Well, you eat your dwarven uh, stew. Mm -hmm. it's, no. it's good. We it's are all good, very, very jealous there's, of the meal happening right now. There's cheese in the potatoes. Ooh. I would die. I would also fart. <laughs> well, we have, we have, we have lactose-free cheese. I'm just. Ooh. Because I would also die. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is the log? <laughs> we come prepared, now with, people. Now, now with a functioning system, thanks to Fred, <laughs> who borrowed me her MacBook. Um, so, as Colt slips the ring on and the oddities are magically pulled from the underwater lair and back to Syngorn, Beria notices yet another figure shrouded in a dark cloak observing their group. Upon arriving to the Cultivarius estate, the party is greeted by Martin, who informs Cult his brother Tenz has left with a group of Dionysus's cultists. It's a lot of this is. Int <laughs> intent on bringing Tenz back, our adventurers ask Rose about the cult and settle on their next destination, much to the wood elf's reluctance. The Riffin Mist juggle. Or is it Riffin Mist? I keep forgetting. Riffin Mist? I call it Riffin Mist, but Riffin Mist. to each their cool. own. It's fictional. Riffin Ms. Jungle, it is. The next morning, Colt invites Nagheim to join him in the armory where he presents them with family armor as a gift. Upon regrouping for breakfast, Rose. I don't know what. 
I didn't reread myself apparently. Upon regrouping for breakfast, the oddities decide on heading to Westrun using the estate's teleportation circle. There, Rose and Nagheim head to Trixie's shop for supplies, while Cult and Viria visit the Cobalt Reserve. Theria asks to speak with Kieran Sari and learns of the true nature of her patron, Safira Shadim, and the first of the white dragons. Uh, the window's hiding the thing. Uh, while Colt searches for another of Kalina's letters in the library. Finding none, he leaves the reserve with Viria, and the two wait outside as Nagaheim and Rose join them and speak to Sari. Nagheim reveals the mystery behind the Fool's Curtain to the man, and Rose learns of the history of the vampire, Voldrick, whose soul inhabits the battle axe she found in the underwater city. With their business in Western taken care of, the Aoyis teleport back to Syngorn to begin the next leg of their journey south. Sorry, that was Ew. extra chaotic. No, that was I perfect. Lo I, loved, I loved the last <laughs> little bit. It's on brand. Back on their if journey. there's not a little like, sprinkle of chaos, I'm not interested. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right. So, with a swoosh, a foosh, and a poosh, you all <laughs> arrive right in front of the Cultivarius estate outside the gates. What are we doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, well, what time is it at this point? It would be about... I think you guys are in the same longitude, latitude. What is it? Whatever, you're in the same time zone from Westrun to Syngorn, so it should be around 1 p.m. at this point, somewhere <clears throat> like that, 2 p.m. maybe. All right, well, do we want to set out um, now? Wait... I, think? um, perhaps we should take a quick meal and go over what we plan to do. I know we talked about it last time. Can we just refresh my memory? Well, Can one, we refresh Chuck's memory? Yeah, so. one thing, one thing I will note before you guys, like, head off, uh, you don't really know where you're going. Right. You know it's the Riffinmist jungle. The Riffinmist jungle is the entire southern part of Taldori. It, that's right. Um, <clears throat> yes, perhaps a, a wee bit of lunch, and uh, maybe Rose can. Uh, Rose, uh, are you proficient in reading maps at all? I'm fairly certain our family would have a map in the library. Um, am I proficient in reading maps? As not smart as Rose is. <laughs> um, <laughs> in like the <clears throat> scholastic avenues. Uh, you grew up like in the jungles. You know how to tell Northeast, Southwest, you know landmarks, you know all that kind of stuff. You can pretty much identify where you're supposed to go and give enough detail to everybody as to where a good starting point might be. But as to like pinpoint it on a map, eh, kind of sketch. If we can just get a general sort of idea. <clears throat> I mean, so, when when we get there, I'll know where to go. I, when you were you were traveling with the circus, we're walking and talking, mm -hmm. making our way up the stairs, making our way to the house, mm. making our way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it's <laughs> um, uh, train of thought. Please, someone help me. Uh, <laughs> Very when you are traveling with the circus. When you're traveling, thank you. When you're traveling with the circus, um, did you travel across land or by sea? Uh, we met you. You said you were coming from the docks when we first met you. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, 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 uh, we have a note. Fred, feel free to vamp on this, but if you want some help, you just let me know and I will point as to what may have happened, okay? I, I was coming from the docks, indeed. Okay, well, let's grab a bite to eat, and then we'll take a look at a map. And maybe clarify how we are going to get where we we're going. We have horses. Um... And you do see, as you're walking and talking up to the Cultivarius estate, near where the stables are, there are four horses that are tied up and currently being fed. 
Is there a cart available to us, or do we just have horses? You were just asking for horses, unfortunately. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at you, Sliver Wizard. <laughs> Why did they make? Did you make the request? No. No. Oh. I, no, I don't no. know how to ride a horse. Oh, this is going to be great. I knew there was fun involved tonight. <laughs> I just got so excited. <laughs> okay. Oh, the jungle is, is to the south, correct? So if we just ride south, we'll eventually yes. run into it, I suppose. No? I mean, that's the beauty of nature, is it tells you where to go when you go. I'm... Why oh, hasn't it told me where to go? Well, in a way it has. Anyway, I'm just gonna shut up about directions. Quite literally, pulling you in a direction. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless, uh, <clears throat> I'll take them up to the library, maybe put in a request for Magda to make us some sandwiches, and we'll have a look at a map here. Ooh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Give me so, a map. sorry, Colt, you're heading where in the house? Uh, into the library. Into the library, okay. And uh, roll to find map. <laughs> okay. Well, it's your home, so I think you yeah. should know by this point. I, I uh, you know where you're and everybody is following Cult into the library? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Cult, you head upstairs. The library was on the second floor, I believe, uh, across from your bedroom and most of the other rooms that are there. And as soon as you turn the corner... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got you good that time. Let's <laughs> see. What? You're homie. Come don't here. say hi the first thing. Come here, you rap scallion. <laughs> I'll learn you uh, for not saying hello when you arrive. Ah, oh, my apologies. We have a lot on our minds. Has Martin filled you in on the situation? Ah, uh, he's not filled in on your situation, but I hear that you're going after tens. That is our situation. Oh. Uh, Give him a cuff upside the head for being such a dick about this whole thing. I will give him several. All right. Hello to all of you. So lovely to see you again. Hello. Hello. Ah, the tall one's still with you. That's good. I like her. Uh, we're just, uh, we have information that uh, Tens and this group of people will be heading south. And we're just going into the library to figure out how we're going to get there. Oh, fair enough. Come, let's let's look at some maps. I'll dig them out. You you all sit down. You look like you've been through hell and back again. Hold on. I'll just mm -hmm. be a second. So she walks over and she scuffles through uh, a world map. I'll transfer it to you guys here. There we go. So just so we oh, load in, load in map. Come on, map. Do your thing. Hey, there it goes. All right. So if we all scooch over to Taldori and... Do, 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 do. Now, if you want, uh, what I'm doing right now is I've got it set up so that um, Syngorn is at the top of my window. And so you can see all of the south side, just so we all have, like, we don't have to scroll all over the place to see where we're going. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you to whoever tight, did that. Tight, tight, tight. <clears throat> okay. So, um, Rose, if you'll permit me, I'm just going to give some insight to what you would know. Is that fair? Yes, go ahead. Okay, cool. So, yes, you guys could travel directly south and you will eventually hit the Riffin Mist jungle. The problem is, is that Rose's past group is a roaming group. So they could be anywhere. So, starting on the west side, there's 99.9% .9 chance you will not find them. Same with the south, same with the east, same with the north. Pretty much all of it. It's a needle in a globe that you're looking for, okay? But the nice thing is that Rose can tell you the last known location where they made camp before she left. She knows it was near a river. She knows that to the east, was an ocean, and to the west was a mountain. They're on the other side of the storm point. Mm. And there's there's a river um, down there as well. 
So it's not a guarantee, but at least it's a starting point. <clears throat> so right. the question is, do we go through the Stormcrest Mountain Pass, travel down the east coast, or do we go down along the storm point on the west side? No, we should probably go through this pass here, Stormcrest. We're probably better off passing through the mountain as fast as we can. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I may have a suggestion. Oh, by all means, Auntie. Well, there's someone who works down at the docks. They owe me a favor or two for a certain thing in that. Um, if you loaded up their boat, I mean, they do travel down the river south and you'll end up in the waters there, the lake at the end there. They'll get you there, cut two hours out of any journey. And then if you head east, there's talk of a gorge that you can make your way through where you don't have to scale a fucking mountain. Oh, uh, well, I, because I was looking up if we traveled north here by the frost wheels and then went down towards well, the, the less detours. Yes. Take Are you talking about the... Oh, I can't read it. Is Very it right here, I'll, I'll, I'll mark it on the map there for you. Right around here. Okay. So oh, once you get to the waters, here. once you get to the lake down here, if you head east from there, I'm, this is just me being told. I haven't been there myself, but there should be a gorge right around that area where you can slip between the mountain peaks instead of going over them. Well, that sounds like a fair plan, and... <clears throat> then we don't have to double back. Rose, make a perception check. First roll of the night. Twelve. As Wait, actually, every... let me use an inspiration. Let me use an inspiration. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to I save like those five. for when you actually need them. <laughs> but what you notice, Rose, as... Auntie Orloff is telling all these details and once she's done talking and all the other members of your group kind of like lean over and everything, you look up at Auntie Orloff and she looks to you and mimes. <laughs> yeah, so if we cross over, there's a little place, Retis, I believe it was, and then we can uh, make our way through making our way uh, through the Kiamat Valley, and then we're there. How long would that take us? I can tell you exactly how long that'll take you, because... I was hoping. <laughs> you were all bringing out protractors and rulers and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> trying to make it right. It will be from where Rose guesstimates as to where the original camp was, or the last camp was, is about 400 miles of travel. Oy. From Syngorn to the Lake Views Dal, it is 100 miles. From the lake to the Retis Pass, as you noted on the map, is another 100 miles. Once you cross the Storm Point Mountains, it is 200 miles south just to get to the river, and then however many more to actually find where this group is. <sighs> We're gonna have enough supplies to make it all this way. Perhaps, Although, Nagheim, would you perhaps have magic that would allow us to track these people faster? Because we just have to. F only find an object, and it has to be within a thousand feet. Rose, would you perhaps know of something they're carrying that we could track then? I know something Tens would be carrying. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. A necklace. Oh. <laughs> uh, the Cult of Arius the State. You took the words right out of my mouth. The necklace or the ring, do you mean? The ring. The ring. Ring, but assuming... Yeah, we don't wear them. Yeah, I'm assuming that uh, well, you it's don't. <laughs> worn the same way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all. But yeah, that's part of yeah, the noble you. background. 
Yes. So if we think we're close, we can... Um, another question is, would Albert be able to fly about when we think we might be in the right area with your spell? Mm. I don't think that's how it works. The only spells I'm able to properly cast through Albert are ones that require contact. Right. All right. Well, uh, it's better than nothing. Um, Rose, since this is sort of your your backyard, uh, you'd be able to find us fresh water and food. I assume oh, this is yeah. sort of sort of your <clears throat> realm of expertise. I mean, we might want to bring some uh, some food with us. Uh, but, I'm I mean, generally the forest is good at providing. We can hunt. Yeah. And I'm sure we have a lot of dry rations somewhere in the house. Mm -hmm. um, just oh, I still have some as well. Yeah, we'll take a stock of what we have, see what we can carry in our in our packs. Um, at the weather, it's hot, correct? Hotter than here? Yes. You might want to wear your finer summer linens. <laughs> Miria's face just falls at that. Uh, Colt's face kind of goes pink and then red because he does have finer summer linens. <laughs> of course you <laughs> <he> do. <laughs> um, I can arrange for some outfits if you're interested. I'm fine. They're mostly khaki. <laughs> um, What's I, khaki? I'll, I'll trade my, my leather pants for some linen, if you don't mind. It gets really hot. And I don't know if any of you have tried to wear a uh, leather in a uh, very hot. Well, it doesn't I, just, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can really the sweaty. Tea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not very well equipped for <laughs> he can in yet. Viria has swamp ass. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 like this. <laughs> I do mm. wash and clean. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow some linen pants from Colt. <laughs> Alright. Uh Colt will uh try to find some uh maybe some tan jodhpurs and some high riding boots yes. and a lovely loose uh linen shirt that probably poofs out and then ties at the wrists yeah at the and mention maybe, maybe a hat yeah at the mention nay the threat of swamp ass all of you are watching <laughs> cult change into more comfortable garb with more attention than you thought you would originally <laughs> so Oh yeah, it's it's very turn of the century. I'm going to, I'm going on a safari. Yes. <laughs> it's very very Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> you are Brendan Maybe Fraser we... in the Mummy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I. Yep. Uh, but maybe there is a hat. Oh yes, maybe, you need a little bit of Indiana hat, Jones with the Brendan with Fraser. One of the sides up. I'm putting in the art request right now of Colt yes. as Brendan Fraser in the Mummy <laughs> Red now. My people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a thumbs up and chat for that. <laughs> uh, I think I will come at you, chat, if you don't. <laughs> Diggity. <laughs> yeah, I'm also do what I want. Uh... <laughs> I'm in me, bro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Still my favorite chart to have. Still my favorite shirt you have. <laughs> um, all right. How much do you think we can scrape together for rations and whatnot? And how long does 400 miles take to travel by horse? Uh, I can tell you that too. Uh, yeah, so yeah. if somebody takes out a calculator real quick. Um, I used to have like a proper calculator. I don't know. Where I, I have one. I always have one. Oh, now, yeah. I will say that... From Syngorn down, if you do, you're more than welcome to take the horses. That's totally up to you. If you want to go by boat, 
it, it can take the horses as well, and it'll get you there at a rate of 19, or sorry, 18 miles per hour. And that is about 100 miles down. So 100 divided by 18 will be how many hours it'll take you to get? 5.5. 5.5, okay. Uh, from there, getting through the mountain to the other side of it on horse, depending on how precarious that whole gorge is, uh, that's about 13 and a half miles per hour. And that is another 100 mile gap. So 100 divided by 13.5. 7.4. 7 7.4, okay. So I'll say this. Once you get from Syngorn south to where the gorge is, might be time to bed down. And then getting through there to the other side, once you get to the other side, again, depending on how treacherous and how long it takes, probably time to bed down once you get there. So that's two days already. Then it is 200 miles south from there in a lot of territory that is not inhabited by very much. So terrain, dangers, all that kind of stuff. On horse, it'll be 13.5. But if it breaks down to where you have to guide the horses through some parts, that's between three to six hours per mile. So that's where it kind of varies is where you do the long southern stretch. So just be prepared. Approximately three days of travel. Mm, a bit more, maybe. Oh, yeah, more. Yeah. So two Four days just to get from the northern part yeah. to start heading south. From there, it could be an additional two to three days if you're lucky. Okay, so okay. Okay. Let's, let's perhaps plan for five, six, maybe, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, is there any settlements in that area? that we could probably hit up just to refresh. Not that you can see on the map. At least nothing that has been discovered or um, populated Undis enough to be mentioned on the map. Undiscovered lands? Yeah. Meaning we're going to be the first civilized people to... <laughs> Absolutely not, but, <laughs> you know... <laughs> um, Rolls will scoff at you saying civilized. <laughs> <laughs> I am deeply shamed. It and is my imperialistic way. Explain <laughs> that there is a lot of um, nomadic and sedentary tribes that live in the Rifimis, so we might, we might be, we might come ac come across some Wadels, and maybe, maybe we can ask for, uh, you know, be like, hi, can we have some food and trade with them, or you know, um, they don't just trade. We also love gold. I love gold, um, but it depends. Why would we trade food if we could just hunt it on our own, though? I mean, any any opportunity to speak and get to know the local customs of these nomadic tribes is just incredible. It's unprecedented. And he, like, I'm assuming they're in his room as he is finding clothes. Oh, yeah, and you guys he, are having a play date right now. Yeah. yeah, he digs out his journal and he, like, files it. And you can see it's a row next to his Hardy Boys books. It's like a row of, like, journals that go from very tattered to almost newer looking and he goes and he finds and he takes out a new one and he finds like colored pencils and he uh, puts them in a leather case and rolls them up and then ties them and he's like I'm gonna I'm gonna draw and uh, I, I will take notes and I will do illustrations and it, anybody who like... would like to can make a perception check please except for cult I would like to make one <laughs> uh, where are my decons there's one <laughs> he had to say Brendan <laughs> Fraser. <laughs> now I'm all like, I've woken up. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, would you roll one? Oh, not, not one. So a two. So oh. Viria, um, whether you're able to admit that to yourself as to the reason why you are just engrossed in the pants that Cult is wearing, not really paying attention to his prattling. Uh, they are tight in the rear and flared out at the hip. Yeah. Rose, the Rose, you are taking stock of everything that Cult is putting into his backpack, sorting it, like his gear, and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe I should do that sometime. Oh, yeah, I'll get some pens and paper, and I 
Don't know how to use them, but I'll make do. I'll make it look like I'm a pro. Nagheim. This is perfect, because what you notice is that the colored pencils that Cult grabs is not just a singular pencil. It is a custom job that he has had made where he can just click and blue, click and red, and click and yellow, and all the multicolored pens, just like I wanted when I was a kid, <laughs> in one thing. <laughs> I still Cannon. don't have one of those pens. I am an They adult. are the coolest. <laughs> oh. The rich kid pen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man. Uh, that's good lore. There you yeah, go. Viria's just thinking to herself, like, what did they do to give that shape? Like, how how is that sh What? And pondering squats. over... No, although, like, she's like, how are they puffing? Like, starch. <laughs> <laughs> Just pondering the mysteries of uh, Couture, noble Couture, right now. There pondering the mysteries of Cult's butt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's got a nice Cult. butt. He does. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> he will find a, a, a little, a little sort of reddish bandana and tie it around his neck, just in case he has to dab sweat. Mm. Cult. It's gonna be yes. soaked. <laughs> Do you happen to have like? A wide brim hat. I think I can That's find like a wide That's circular. Brim hat. That would uh, fit. Maybe to help keep the sun and the heat out of my eye. I might be uh, not from, well. Might have lived above ground, but the sun still gets to me sometimes. Well, come up to mommy and daddy's room. I have the black hat, but it's not going to do you any good in the heat. It's just going to attract the heat. Um, oh, I don't care about the heat. I'm going to keep myself cool. It's just mostly to help keep things out of my like, keep it out. You can wear my, my old hat. Or you can come take a look at Mum's sun hats. Uh, yeah, let's go take a look. Okay. Does and anyone want to join style them? That would fit me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they uh, go up to Mater and Peter's room. Wait, so does black attract heat? Should I no. shave my hair off? Oh, no. No, it's... I mean, your hair might get warm, but... Uh, uh... shave it. <laughs> you looked really stunned there for a second. <laughs> my hair is really pretty. I wouldn't shave it. I, I think we, we could wear a something like a, a, a babushka of sorts or a, a grandmother's a grandma she would wear a grandmother? Can we just stop and like What's appreciate the visual image it's grandma. of it's terrifying, grandma. glowing eyed Viria, a warrior to be reckoned with, and a babushka? <laughs> I freaking yeah, yeah. love this game. Yeah, I was just perplexed with the fact that you just told Viria to wear a grandmother. <laughs> grandmother's handkerchief <laughs> uh, maybe not anyway here's an array of hats and he opens the door and just like oh. our favorite pirate show there is a big closet mm -hmm. and I don't I don't know what mummy and daddy have taken with them so we'll see what's left over because she's a dignitary I imagine she has a vast amount of wardrobe at her disposable at her disposable Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard that. <laughs> I would like Nighthime would probably go for one with like a large not the largest brim, but like a larger brim so that like potentially can cast a shadow over their shoulders. Sure. A little bit. Do you want something that's a uh, lighter material or something that's solid? Probably solid in case it rains. Okay. Um uh, a circular one. Sure. Nothing too fancy. I'm not going to embarrass our fashionista yeah. with trying to describe what that actually looks like. I will trust you I guys. Say, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I was, as you're looking at all these, like, uh, like the cults bringing down hat boxes and opening them up, and you see some of the most ostentatious, like, derby hats or something you'd see at a British royal wedding, like, completely impractical with ships 
and mounted birds and like squirrels and fruit and everything. And then finally you manage to find one that looks similar in shape to cults with sort of a fedora-esque top and then a big wide brim that's uh, probably like a lighter something maybe like in a a teal uh, something light colored with a white silk um, band around and maybe a single feather something subdued for all the other hats you see Oh, and I also have it in another color, if you if you prefer. <laughs> a brown or black? Oh, yes. I oh, don't there's... believe where color. <laughs> Light brown, <laughs> medium brown, chocolate brown, dark brown? What kind of brown do you want? <laughs> I, I have very nice sand. So it has Ooh. undertones of pink in it. <gasps> Just like a, a dirt color, maybe? I don't know. We'll go with the sand. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding like 15 of the same hat, all different colors, and just like, yeah. take this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's that guy prepared. Full leather outfit. <laughs> and hat. <And> sand hat. <laughs> Perfect. It's like in Dragon Age when you put like a really ridiculous hat on your character. Yes. <laughs> or you put them in punishment plaid. Oh yes, God, the punishment plaid. The plain weave. <laughs> the mustard plain weave. Love it. Uh, One day yeah, I will be cool well. and know the references too. <laughs> We're going to play together. Awesome. Vivienne, you bitch. Here's some <laughs> mustard plaid for you. Oh, no. Why are you talking smack, Vivienne? Right? <laughs> oh, you want to put me back in a circle, is it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, excuse me. You are. I'm hearing all your belches. I'm loving oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I'm not. You gotta. You gotta chew that mic when you do that shit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. So Nikon would take their hair out of the bun, so the hat fits proper, and would just let their hair just kind of hang down. It's white! You took it all out! I can't believe oh. I just noticed. Oh. Uh, How did you do that? And Cult will totally start handling your hair. Uh, <laughs> magic? Really? I, 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 I do that. Oh. So I didn't have to cut off all my hair to get back to the brown. I could have just no. asked you. This was pigment added, not taken away. So, I was able to just remove it. Oh, I see. You think I don't know about bleach? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, does not. I was wondering what the wink was for. I'm like, uh, did I miss something? I was like, I was like, I, was like, I obviously. <laughs> I know. I think I know. I think I know. I'm doing my hair All right. Is anybody else getting the um, safari makeover here? <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, Viria would take what she can get because she's obviously not going to get very far wearing all black leather and a fur cape. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, we can go to Nell's room and uh, raid her closet. They're not here. We're going to return it. They can all buy new ones. Um, you guys so... all here called justifying this to themselves. To, to <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Because this is absolutely that rule of siblings being like, stay out of my fucking room. And <laughs> Cult is totally taking advantage of that right now. <laughs> Did you touch my stuff? <laughs> I don't even want to touch your stuff. Uh, I would say either Nell's stuff might be too big, but Ten's stuff is definitely going to be too well, slender. I can. Or I you can, can. I can. My stuff might fit you. Well, I can also. Well, we can try. I can also, you know, do some very rudimentary sewing. Uh, if anything, I can take some of it in while oh, on the road. Uh, we have people that. for that. We also. Well, we are in a hurry. And... Yeah. Uh, well, take a look, and he presents the closet. His his closet again, very large very involved. Seems like be like a lot of almost Mr. Dress-Up era-esque kind of clothes. Like. Yes. Well, I'm not much of a um 
There's something for every person. Every so occasion. just, just, just give me whatever you don't really care about. I suppose I'd feel bad if I ruined something you liked. So, well, from here to here is my traveling gear. So feel free to take anything out of this section. It's, it's uh, slightly more ruggedly Are made. Going through it. <laughs> and uh, by all means, Ari, if you want to select your outfit <laughs> have no i was not prepared to come up with a <laughs> outfit. well here okay. I'll, I'll help you out this much uh let's roll an investigation check ari okay and i will good say job. with advantage oh, because cult was offering you direction for like what to choose from like what sections i'll just yeah i'll just uh refer to cult and nagheim's professional opinion because they're the fashionistas in this group uh I'm uh, trying to find D20s. There, within my files. I think those and... pants would be great. <laughs> Let's you move. So with advantage, that's a 13. Okay. Well, you do okay selecting the pants because you kind of think, okay, if I'm going to a jungle, there's probably a lot of greenery. Uh, so something camouflage -y. So you do find like an army green like a muted green pant that's very loose and breathes well enough so that swamp ass, even if you do get it, won't be so noticeable down the crack of your ass. Your lovely <laughs> Viria ass. So there you go. I apologize. I cannot apologize. <laughs> yeah. it's, I am... a, it's a beautiful swampy ass, okay? Yeah. But un <laughs> unfortunately, you felt the texture of, man, you know, like... You always see like vacation videos in hot like Hawaiian beaches and you always see the dudes with those like white dress shirts that are semi-transparent and they seem very loose and flowy. That's what you pick. Is that what it just straight up linen? Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I thought it was so. like it's thinner. <laughs> or, gauze, yeah, or gauze maybe. Like, I yeah, don't... it's like that kind of material, but a shirt, right? So you select that as a shirt to go over top of like whatever like breastplate armor that you're wearing as well. But that might be a bad case because as soon as you hit the sweat kind of territory, that is just going <laughs> to saran wrap to your body. But you don't know. You think you look good and you're put together and that's good for hot weather. Away you go. Oh, and if you wear sort of your your waist armor corset over top, it really sort of never mind. Makes my boot <laughs> look really good. Oh, I was not gonna say it out loud, but Jesus, you just I'm self-aware. Oh, oh, well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, Rose, do you need anything else? <laughs> um, I mean, I've got the pants. Maybe like a linen shawl if. Or like any long piece of fabric, fabric that can serve as a shawl is fine. Oh, yeah. tens. Let's let's go to tens's room. And Nighthime is specifically gonna wait outside of tens's room and not go in. Oh, I'll wait with them. <laughs> All right. So uh, Rose and Colt, you head on inside. You open up the closet, and you see it's half empty. How much luggage did he bring? Is he giving him these, giving all these people his clothing? Isn't, don't they just wear the one thing, Rose? Did he sell his clothes? I would think so. Does, are his pashminas still there? <laughs> what is a pashmina? Uh, it's, it's a, a silky scarf. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I can, I can do you solid there. You do it's the name of a hamster in Hamtaro. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Colt picks up a very small hamster and just gives it to Rose. <laughs> its name is Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're multi referencing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, do we kill Zander? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> in the best way possible. All right. So, as you're going through, uh, Rose, you do find an assortment of... There are certain garments that can be worn, like, as, like, just a, a scarf around the neck, around the waist. Uh, there is one that kind of goes over the shoulder and can be kind of, like, fashioned underneath the belt so that it does cover this, but not the back. So, there's, like, fashion choices to be had here. It's just depending on what you're comfortable with from your homeland. I just want to put something over my head. 
Over your hand or your head? Head. Got it. Mi cabeza. <laughs> your beautiful round head. Um, yeah, uh, I would say uh, Rose, pick a color. It's probably there. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with a purple one. Oh, yeah. You would definitely wear purple. It goes great with the teal on our skin. It also goes great with the color black. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Which your eyes. to wear. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I traded the black pants for lin- linen pants. That's true, and you oh, traded yeah. your old purple shawl for a gold one, if I'm not mistaken. That was uh, the purple sash. Sh- sash, the, the excuse purple, me. The purple knit shawl I left um, before we boarded the ship. It's with the cat. So that's why. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we've managed to turn this prepping into a fashion episode. (laughs) Yes, quite done. Fair enough. Uh, So just gather up our gear and... Oh, right. Nagheim. We are going to be riding horses. Do you want to have a go around the grounds first? How hard can it be? I mean, (laughs) the horse does... Oh, no. (laughs) Sorry. The horse does most of the work. You just tell it here or there. If anything, um, you can ride with me and we can use the fourth horse. Horse. The fourth hose. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. One more time. It's like, did someone give the our fourth peanut hose? <laughs> uh, no, we can use. <laughs> if anything, you can ride with me, and we can use the fourth horse as a uh, pack horse. Yeah, swap them out once the horse gets tired. <laughs> There's some hoes in this house. Oh my God. Today I learned that pronouncing the word horse with an accent is <laughs> difficult. Oh, the oh, best part is horse, like, I didn't know horse, if you horse, were like stumbling horse. over your words or you were trying to do like a Mr. Ed impression with your mouth. It was just, <laughs> it was the greatest bit of comedy that was not intentional. Oh, oh, we're giddy tonight, folks. Whew. Oh, so giddy. All right. It's the extra serotonin. So, uh, Colt, forgive me if... I forgot, but did you say something about asking the kitchen to prepare stuff for your travel meals? Yeah, well, technically, no, I asked for sandwiches, but it'd probably be something he would ask if they could put together some travel rations as well. Sure. Yeah, that's easy enough, because, I mean, like, there's enough um, uh, stock and supplies, like, within, like, the household to be set for, like, three months at a time. Uh, so it's easy enough to like take some meat and like salt it and cure it enough like in the time that you guys need to be out the door for so uh, it might not be the most fulfilling meal on your travels but you would have enough to like just take bites and keep you going for most of your journey yeah and I mean I was also thinking like world building uh, daddy likes to go on long hunting trips like around the estate, like their estate is pretty vast, so he just goes into the woods and goes hunting. So mm-hmm. he probably has stuff like hardtack and jerky. Oh yeah, yeah. Daddy, different daddy. Bob <laughs> Gazak is a handsome bugger. Big, big Gazak daddy. Big, big daddy, <laughs> a bear. Um, yeah, and so uh, while well, that's going on, all right, Nagheim, let's take a look at these horses. See which one's right for you. Seen as tens took all of our horses. And so you see the arrangement of horses that you meet outside of the stables. Um, oh man, this here's evidence of me forgetting to write good ideas down. I had this whole thing about some like elvish, ne'er, like just uppity bitch that had like a fla 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 kind of name. And then he named all his horses. And this is Galafernid. And this is Galadriel. And this is Galanisir. And that's Ted. You know, but I <laughs> I didn't work on the names. I'm sorry. But you do that's see all for. Canon now. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Galafernid. Daffodil. And Ted. Yes. 
So you can name the horses what you will. That's fine with me. Um, but there are variations of the horses. There's, uh, they're all pretty much the same height and build and everything like that. There's no like difference in their breed or anything like that. Um, I think these horses would have come from a actual breeder. So they're all pretty much the same breed of horse. Uh, coloration a little bit different. Uh, variations between browns and whites and mix matches of the two. So have at it. I'm naming mine Hustle and Bustle the second. There you go. <laughs> Did we have a Hustle and Bustle the first? The lizard. What? At the race. The lizard. Oh! The lizard! Yeah. Fantastic! Oh, the lizard I bet on at the Point race. Point of inspiration for that <laughs> callback. Holy That's shit. Good, good lore, Paul. Wow. Man, I was searching my brains and I'm like, who does that? My players like my shit. It's <laughs> awesome. What do you mean? I perfectly remember something I'm really invested into. I don't You're know if you were insulting you or me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got Hustle and Bustle the second. My horse, Mixie Trotel. I'll leave that up to you to remember that one right on. <laughs> I shall name you the sweaty steed. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. I even thought of it. Um, I'll pass you know what? the second. Swamp pass the second. Because <laughs> Viri will be swamp pass the first. <laughs> swamp pass the second. It is canon. <laughs> I'll, I'll name my hope. Oh. oh, I mean, because they hope they'll be able to ride it. <laughs> I was thinking more hopeful for the future, but sure. Hey. Yeah, I, know. I was like, oh, so poetic. And this is Swamp Bass. <laughs> <laughs> the, second. the second. We don't talk about the first. All right. Uh, so <laughs> with in... hope in mind, with hope in mind, Xander, or sorry, Nagheim, please make an animal handling check. I was going to say, can we give them advantage yes. if yes. We, we find the most timid or the most uh, good-natured? Well, I will say that they are getting friendly advice from someone who's, you know, well-trained in horse riding. Horse riding? Oh, yeah. Not on paper, but in story. Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> All right, so roll twice, take the higher. 21. Uh, it is a... 24. Oh, you guided yourself? You... Oh, I didn't hear it. Okay, no worries. Amazing. I saw the hand. So, with Cult's guidance and tutelage telling you how to spread the weight between your hips so that you don't take the brunt of each impact as the horse goes, you take it with stride. <laughs> and no worries. You make a couple of laps around, take up the pace a little bit. You find your comfort zone for now. It's not too, too quick, so you know when to hold back a little bit, so it's not completely without a care in the world, but you feel comfortable enough to stay on the horse. Whether or not you're in a chase situation might be a little different, but for now, traveling-wise, you should be good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine, like, Colt's, like, riding in tandem, like, right next to Nagheim, and, like, we're doing all, like, okay, pull this way if you want to go this way, pull back, all the, all the basics. Tell them they're pretty. Tell them they're nice. Yeah. You like oh, the mane. Always. Yep. So you've got to rub their neck. Mm -hmm. You've got to stroke their manes. Give their butt pats. They have so much butt. Carrots. There's lots so of much, carrots. Lots of carrots. A couple sugar cubes if you want to put some in your pocket just to sweeten the deal. Yep. Well, while they're doing that, uh, is Rose with them or are we both sticking back? I'd say you two would probably be like, you know, on the fence posts, like just kind of leaning over, like. Uh, Rose, do you have a moment to talk? Sure, what's up? Uh, well, I've been thinking, um, learning you were in the cult, um, way back when we first met in Western and we got arrested, uh, you mentioned you had a criminal background. Does that oh. have to do with the cult? I I meant it more in a like 
people might be after me. Because I thought maybe some of the cults might come after me. Hey. So you're not a criminal then? No. Okay. I just didn't want to outright come and say, Hello, nice to meet you. By the way, I was in a cult. Um, we had just met. Fair enough, I understand that. It seemed, it's, uh, I guess it's weird, but um, it seemed more okay to tell you that I may have committed a crime than to tell you that I may have been, that I was in a cult. I'm having a hard time understanding the logic behind that because being part of a cult isn't in itself a crime, nor is it worse than, you know, being a criminal. It is shameful. Why? It just feels shameful because you are deceived. Were you? You thought something, you thought something was something and it, the, it turns out it wasn't. And then you invested in something that turns out wasn't. And yeah. Well, what were you expecting, if I may ask? I mean... Because you, you said, you know, the, the um, hedonists and they're into sex and drugs and alcohol, but then again, you know, everyone is. So, what's so bad about them? It's... Hmm. It's complicated. Is it really, or is it just, you know, you not wanting to talk about it? Which, again, I understand. A little bit of both. Okay. I won't force you, it's just that for Ten's sake, you know, we need you to be as transparent as you can. I know, I'm trying. Okay, well, you know, we're all we're all here for you if there's anything you want to share down further down the road. Rose is gonna just grab uh, Viri's hand and give it a squeeze. I'll give a little squeeze back and go back to watching the other two. It's about that Colt's time. Up on the saddle. Nope. <laughs> He's up on the saddle surfing. And Nagheim is trying to look impressed without revealing that they're still a little scared about riding a horse. <laughs> Understandably so. Because horses are death machines. <laughs> Just ask Christopher Reed. No, we're not. Nope. Oh. <laughs> moving on from there. Uh, too soon. <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> moving on from there. Where do we go? Um, I guess we hit the the boat. So that's the lake inside of Singorn that we're going to, and... Yeah, it's not Ante too far from where you guys are. Uh, let me just look at the Ante map here. Auntie Orloff mentioned the boat. Is that a boat that the family owns? No, uh, unfortunately. Um, it's pretty much uh, like she's familiar with enough people that work at the docks of Singorn. Uh, so that she's well aware that there is a lot of fishing and everything like that that doesn't take place within Syngorn, but does happen along the lakes, along the shores, down to the lake that you're heading towards and back again. So there are kind of like barge ships. Is that the right okay. word? Yeah. So there are ships that could easily have the horses transport them all the way south, pick up their cargo and head back. Okay. Well, I guess we uh, are heading into Syngorn from the estate to mm -hmm. find passage on a barge. You bet. So the uh, the bridge that meets like uh, from the eastern side to the western side, 
so heading towards the tavern ward or sorry the tarn ward uh where the market is and everything like that from there you would just spiral around to where the edge of the bridge is and that's where the docks are and you'll see that oh you guys aren't even on this map what am i doing i'm so also, sorry we, i before we leave the estate <laughs> I want to have a word with Auntie Orloff. Sure. Uh, let me just bring this up for you guys so you know what I'm talking about. Cool. So the estate, the Cultivarius estate is in here. You guys would head to this bridge and right in this corner pocket here, that's where the docks are. Mm -hmm. So you would go from there and it would lead out down this river south. Make sense? Yep. Okay. All right. So from there, skadoosh. You wanted to talk to Auntie Orloff. Yeah, before we go. Sure. Uh, I'll I'll take her to mother and father's study, just private, like. And uh, uh, so, where were you? And how are mother and father? Ah, uh, your parents are fine. They're settling in nicely. Uh. The Feywild is a hell of a place. It's fucking huge. Oh my god. I have heard. Hmm. Have I have I been to the Feywild? No, you have not. Okay, no, I have not. I, I've heard. You I've have. I've read, yes. read, read books about it. Hmm. Uh, where are they exactly? Are they have they found a summer home or? Well, that's still in the works, so to speak. You don't really have homes like we know them here. The Feywild sort of provides as you go along. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a strange thing to kind of describe. It's like a world that is a living, breathing organism. You don't, it's much like ourselves. We don't break and tear and reconstruct our bodies. You wouldn't do the same to the Feywild. The Feywild kind of does its own thing and you adapt to what it provides for you. So, with that in mind, your parents are going to be there for quite some time trying to figure out their place in that world. Uh, as to specifics, that's why I can't really say heads or tails. And to be fair, your father said the less you kids knew right now, the less likely doors are going to be knocked on and people will be trying to pick at your brain. And not in the literal sense. That's, that's creepy. Oh... Uh Okay. Well, good. I, I hope, as long as they're comfortable. They are. Father must be having a time of it. You have no idea. I've never, I've, last time I saw him, this giddy, he was a teenager before all this war and fighting and nonsense. Oh, he's just and in his element. He's questioning everything. He's just dancing around. What's this? What's this? I had to smack him on the head a couple of times. Calm him down. Quite the midlife crisis. Ah, uh, some people get, you know, fancy carriages other people go to the Feywild and it's what you do and and mother's at least comfortable I mean oh she's in her element she's the way she looks at your father enjoying all of this it's just a moment of pride for her it's lovely to see I must admit and just to rest your mind at ease you are welcome to visit it just may take some time of course of course mm. I'm very much looking forward to it, but I have another adventure to keep my mind busy with tens and all this. Like, did any did were you here? Or were you still with them over the over in the Feywild when he left? He was gone by imagine. the time I came back. Oh well, I guess he must be having his own young man's life crisis at this point. Well. I can't blame him too much. Seeing you and your sister and your successes, there may have been a bit of jealousy in that. <laughs> Jealous, you say? I mean, I suppose I have been quite su successful. I've only died the once. And, uh, I have a very faithful band of adventurers behind me. Now that's funny, you thinking I was talking about the success. <laughs> <laughs> no, you idiot. You're out there living a life. Not the one that your parents want for you, but something you chose for yourself. Nell is the golden child in your father's eyes. 
what is what's Tens done so far? I suppose he's spent a lot of money. He spent a lot of money because he's living in a shadow. It's not much of a life for that kid. So when you do find him, absolutely kick him in the balls a couple of times like you do, but cut him some <laughs> slack. It's a family motto. Yes. Kick him on the balls like you do. And they're not looking. It's the best time. I think I see what you mean. Hmm. And I will take it into consideration when I'm shoving my fingers up his nose and dragging him home by them. As you should. Yes. Give him a wet willy for me. I will. Because he's giving me heart palpitations. I don't like this shit. Growing old is not for the young at heart. Uh, Will you be staying here? I figure I'll stay around for a little bit. I don't see myself going back to the Feywild back and forth again. It gives you a little bit of the rumbly tumbly every time you kind of do that thing. So I'd rather just lay my roots here for a little bit. I'd be very happy if you would look after everyone while we're away. <sighs> they look after me. Never mind. I try to help. They tell me to fuck off. Well, the 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 help. You know, they don't say fuck off, but I I get it. We need one of the one of the family to be at home. Quite right. Ah, leave that to me. <laughs> all right. And um, I I heard that. Catalina had come back. I was wondering if I should bring that up. I I found out. Have you spoken to her? Not as of much. I saw her in Whitestone and returned with her to um Toastfields, and uh, then she was gone. Hmm. Do you have anything to say? She puts her arms on you there. You know I love you very much. Mm-hmm. I was told not to speak of her whereabouts. But you may be surprised as to what the Feywild can offer you. Uh, All right. Cryptic, but I think I understand. Uh, I love you, Auntie. I love you too, boy. And kisses her on the cheek and gives her a big tight hug. Uh, well, come say goodbye to everybody. They all love you. Absolutely. Rudy Tooty, Viria, and the other one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Rudy Tooty. <laughs> Fresh and fruity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You think I planned this stuff, but I don't, guys. It just comes out oh. of my face. <laughs> All right. Blackjack and hookers in the play wild. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt, but I'm like, yep. Oh, yeah. You don't know good. what the Feywild wild can offer, Blackjack and hookers. You know what? Forget the wild. Fey wild. <laughs> Start my own Feywild. wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> That's excellent. <coughs> um, <coughs> yeah. So well, we're off then. I suppose. You bet. <laughs> well. Yeah. Let's so you all off. say your goodbyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, you guys head down to the docks. You meet this individual that uh, I totally had a name for. Yeah. Oh, the gifts. What? All the gifts that I got in on our way to the Shattered Teeth, I'm going to have pl- placed them in everyone's room. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I, I can't like remember what they are right now, but... No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to put Harry over here. Sure, no okay. problem. All right, so you make... You travel towards the docks. <laughs> <laughs> 
And yes, you do make arrangements that the horses can get onto the barges and you'll be on your way towards the southern region. And it will take roughly about five hours, depending on how hard the current is and all that kind of stuff. Is there anything anybody needs to do in Syngorn before we head out from here? Uh, Who does that go to? I don't know. Oh, who who needs it? I already have three. I have five. Jesus! (laughs) So maybe next time... We did this. We did this uh, with Nora on the stream yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave her one, so I'm gonna see who's on stream right now. Oh, one of our regulars, perhaps. Maybe Epic Fumbles wants to hang dun, on to dun. that. Dun, 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 dun. Epic Fumbles, write yourself a little note that you have one inspiration to give to one of us. There you go. I like that. You just make yourself a note. This is not really official, but it's (laughs) not. Okay, yeah. Okay, they got it. Sweetness. All right. Okay. Um... Man, I, I really hope that works out because of the delay in the Twitch stream and everything like that. But I'll I'll leave it to you guys to kind of keep your eyes on there when Yeah, yeah. it'll be a loosey goosey thing yeah, until for we sure. figure it out. Alright. Um So with that, we got a couple of changes that I gotta do here. There's number one and do 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 change music. Boom. <laughs> Okay, we're done. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. I mean, I was going to make it keep on doing it until we get Xander back, but you know, that's okay. So. <laughs> Traveling down the waters from Syngorn. The fairy lights of the sun's rays dancing across the tips of the Feshun rivers marks the path leading south to the Storm Point Mountains. To the east, growing ever larger and further, you travel. Oh, I wrote that wrong. Well, whatever. (laughs) High enough to pierce the clouds above and chill them to the bone. The tall grass and cattails that line the shores bow their heads with the breeze at your back. In the distance, small farmlands divide the plains in patchwork crops. Friendly faces occasionally look up and wave as you pass by. A few miles between, you pass by man-made docks that extend out to the waters you travel along. Common folk pulling in nets for the day's catch can be seen toiling away as others lazily tend to their fishing lines, lounging with their feet dangling down into the water. Before long, The narrow Feshun Feshun River expands to a wide open mouth that leads to the calmer views Dal waters at your journey's end. To the left of the lake's edge, you can see a tall pine trees that lead off to the base of the Storm Point Mountains. And even with the landscape fading off in the distance, you can make out the smallest sliver that lies between two peaks within the mountain spine. What would you all like to do? Oh, is that is that boat and water sound effects? Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Grew up on a lake, so. Hey. So nice. Oh, just listen to that for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is our stream. Ah. There we ah, go. we got it. I was. Back. And I got my sheep back. Hey. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Uh, so we're at the, what is it called? I can't. It's a weird name. It's V-U-E-S-D-A-L Waters. We'll just call it the lake from now on because that's a weird word to say. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one to wrap mm-hmm. them out. Yeah, around. thanks a lot, Matthew Mercer, mm-hmm. you dick. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be canceled. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> So we're at the lake. Yes. And it is, it took five hours. If you hours. look in roll 20, it's a good interpretation of what you guys just traveled down. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. See how uh, this opens up in a weird 
it's okay. Is. Um, what time of day is it? With all the horse riding and getting around and conversations and everything like that, you guys are pretty much into the nine o'clock, ten o'clock range by now. Okay, so we're losing light. Yeah. Real fast. Okay. Uh, is there like a settlement around here? Not really, no. It's just nature. Yeah, it's pretty much like sporadic farmland uh, on the western side of the lake, uh, but not too much on the eastern side because it just quickly turns to like mountain base and everything. So there's not much farmland that's going on there. It's more along the other side. Um, but this is all just kind of like farmlands that divide leading up to the different uh, destinations, both north and south and east or west. So. We want to find somewhere close to the water. We can make sure the horses can drink and set up a camp for the night, I suppose. We won't be going very far anyway, so. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. Rose, do you think so, you can pick us out a suitable campsite? There, that's fine. Perfect. Rose points a perfectly suitable location. Make a survival check. You want a survival check? Please and thank you. Cold has nothing but utter, utter blind faith. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's Rose. <laughs> That's and perfect. For good reason. <laughs> yep. Everything's also a suitable location yep. when you have the bubble. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's very true. But the bubble does not provide a nice source of water coming down from the mountains in a little kind of freshwater stream. It's also close enough that there are fish to be had if anybody wants to take a crack at fishing. I will. Hey, there you go. All right. Colt will watch because he's not much of a fisher. No, no worries. So Nagheim, I'm going to assume that you're going to stay in the bubble and construct that, or do you want to wait I'm a little gonna, bit? I'm going to wait a bit. Okay. I have something on. Do sure thing. Everyone gets back. So, uh, survival check from all the fishermen. I, I was... Will... No, I do not have javelins, so. <laughs> wow. Somebody doesn't know how to fish. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm I can joking. find I'm a joking. nice branch and use my great sword to shave that down to a point, okay? Oh. So, Guidance on Beery. Oh, I'll take it. Survival, was it? Yes. Oh, uh, so that's a 13. Okay. Uh, no, 14, 14, 14. 14? Okay. With guidance, yeah. All I right. got a 19. <laughs> nice. Okay. Wow. Sorry. So Maybe as... Myself, yeah. No, that's fine. That's great. Because you both win in this situation. Viri, you wade out into the water, and it takes you a couple of pokes to really get one, but then you finally bring up a salmon. Meanwhile, Cult has already wrangled two by the gills. So, <laughs> enough by, you know, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's oh, you your winner. Just catch them with your hands. <laughs> I do well, have twenty we're, we're, ticks now. <laughs> where I'm, where I'm from, the water's freezing, so we have to use tools to not die of hypothermia. I wouldn't even know how to cook them. I don't even really eat fish. That's true. Fish girl. Her eyes just narrow as she like zeroes in on both fish he's holding. Uh, and he's yeah. very nonchalant about it too. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are like, can you not? <laughs> Her lips just kind of like thin into until they're just like a line at this point. Like, <laughs> but very you do take some pride in the fact that your fish is just slightly bigger than the two that cult caught. So you're like, yeah, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> but then you both make your way back to the campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And luckily enough, you both suck at cooking fish, but your friend Rose sure doesn't. Rose, we got fish. I'm by the campfire. Actually. Where I? Sorry, what? Rose is uh, actually a little bit far off, outside of the bubble, kneeling oh, uh... by the water. And, no uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Well, no, where the going, bubble would location would be, but the bubble radius. Mm -hmm. And uh, her hands are in the water, and she's just rubbing her hands in the water. I mean, so quietly. It's good to wash your hands before you cook something, I suppose. 
Sorry, what? Oh, we got dinner. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. Holds out a huge salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Two smaller trout. <laughs> and I, I go and I cook the fish. There uh, Colt's gonna go and quickly rinse his hands, too. And goes and sits uh, back with the group. It just wipes on her pants. <laughs> <laughs> While the fish is being cooked, here comes there with some tea. It's not gonna be cooked. You're all getting pokeballs. <gasps> oh. I know what I'm eating tomorrow. <laughs> Rose just <laughs> killed the party with taste buds. It's saliva. <laughs> um, next time I'm gonna kind of look around and, you know, we've all really had talks individually. But we never really had group talks. And there's this game I remember hearing the kids playing when I was studying. I believe they... What was it? What the fuck is up with that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dropping that mic. <laughs> Um, that's that's a game people play. So yeah. that's that's the game's name. What the fuck is up with that? Yes, I, I remember okay. correctly. You. It could be if you want it to be. I'm sure, but you all we pick somebody who wins. Like I was rolling dice or something. I have dice, and I'll. And take my dice set out. The one with the I've highest roll um, ask whoever they want, or we could do uh, the one with the lowest roll. What the fuck is up with that? And the person that they ask answers. It can be anything big or small. It's just, I, we've been around each other for a while, and I mean, I know absolutely nothing about Rose. <laughs> awkward, awkward side glance to Rose. No, Rose, you haven't not told me anything. So, I only know what Viri has told us about her past, but I don't know who Viria is. And the same with um, cults. I, I know a lot about your family. But that's it, really. Well, we certainly deserve a night off. As long as, you know, we can still keep watch and do our rotations, then why but not? I just mean before we bed down, it would be something we can do to relax a bit. Colt brings out a... Travel bottle. Travel bottle? Sure. <laughs> a wine skin of bourbon and a smaller wine skin of cooking sherry. <sighs> Hands it to Viria. Well played. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my dice thingy. Um, it's Rosie's like. gonna pull out a cup and then be like, uh, can I have some to yeah. cult? Thank you. Just a little and bit. Pours, pours everyone who wants a drink, a drink. I will stick to my tea, thank you. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, this is happening. Oh, like, we, we, just, we just derailed Jason's entire <laughs> session. I no, I'm, where I, I'm where I need to be. I'm all good, guys. <laughs> That's I've wanted to do so long. <laughs> me too, me too, me too. A d20? A d20. Okay. Roll. Oh. Oh, my God. Is it not? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, same! You got Frenzies. six? Frenzies. Yeah. Frenzies. <laughs> Ten. I win. 
So... What's that, Goblin? <laughs> Do you... I win! I win the dice roll! <laughs> Oh my god, next character. Next character, please. yes. Please, <laughs> please, for the love of God. Um, so, Fury, would you like us to do the rule of you ask whomever, or you want to ask the lowest? No, uh, I instantly turn to Colt and I go, Colt, your pants, what the fuck is up with that? Oh my god. <laughs> that was in the chamber, was it not? Uh, Colt just sort of looks down at his pants and sort of like, I don't know what the fuck is up with my pants. It's almost like it's a double Defying scene. gravity. I know, I know. And it's a uh, secret. I don't really know how John Purr is sticking out like this. So I'm gonna, you know, oh, I well, it's, it, you, here's how it works. Is that you have tiny camel humps on either side of your hips and they just kind of envelop that. Because that's where you carry water when you're walking through the desert. Facts. Oh my God. <laughs> that's the worst fact. <laughs> no, you're just wearing tiny hip, like hip bustles. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I think it's just it's it's all in the starch when they wash them out and they they lay them flat and there might be a the seam is a little bit uh, tripled up so it's firmer. Perhaps. <clears throat> Why do they look ridiculous? No, I just didn't know pants could do that. Oh, have a touch if you want. You can see how firm the seam is. I'll just poke it a bit. <laughs> that continues sporadically throughout the night because she's not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Next. Magic. <laughs> Roll. All oh, right. Starting off on that. Oh, my oh. God. 14. 10. 8. 9. 19. Hey, cult. Uh, hmm. I've got one. Rose. Who taught you how to cook? Um, well, my mom is a really good cook, so I guess I learned from watching her. And she's still around? As far as I know, yeah. Oh, you don't see her very often. I mean, years of rolling around in the with a cult I haven't really spoken to her in a while did you yeah. I know this is sort of breaking the rules a little bit but can I expand on my question don't you have to ask what the fuck is up with that what the fuck is up with um did you want to go visit he's having a hard <laughs> time being rude about it uh, so he's just like saying what the fuck is up with that and then going and just asking her question oh, yeah. anyway in a polite way <laughs> you're totally anti-jeopardy right now it's all good he's totally yeah you're just not asking in the form of a question uh, uh, do you want to go visit your mom I don't when we're know. Yeah. well you'll let us know if, when we're mm. closer if you do I'd really like to meet the person who taught you how to cook. So I can shake her hand. It is good cooking. Thank you. Close a little bit. <laughs> and it is pretty good fish. With the limited spices that you have on hand, you made it just sing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cult Rolly. sort of is not really. He's moving it around his plate a little bit, but does try tries to eat some of it. He just doesn't oh. like fish. Uh, <laughs> Cult would realize that his fish specifically tastes actually like steak. Oh, and then he As eats it. Presto oh. <laughs> changes the flavor. <laughs> uh, winks it at Nagheim. Rolly? Uh, mm hmm. Roll. Oh my god. Uh, it popped. Mm. Uh, Nine. Not 20. Oh no. Well, the. We got a nat 1 and a nat 20. In yeah. Yeah. Oh, I will say, Epic Fumbles, you do have a point of inspiration. I don't think you want to do it right now, though. <laughs> just, just reminded myself where it's like, oh, wait, we're rolling things. Hey, mention that. Anyway, go ahead. Um. 
Wait, are we doing it just asking whomever? Is that what's been happening? I guess we can just pick. Like, yeah, if, if... I, I just picked. Very, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Your voice kind of cracked there a bit. <laughs> um... Sorry. What? What is your family like? Oh, that's right. I only told Colt about that. Uh, Everybody well, tells me shit. <laughs> uh, well, they're alive for the most part. I have um, a mom and a stepmom. Um, because my dad died a few years back, and they adopted a little girl, so she's my sister, and I have a grandma, grandmother, grandma. Um, she's, uh, she's y'all of our clan, so kind of like in a leadership position. Mm. Is there anything you wanted to know? <laughs> Specifically? Um, no. No. That's all. Rollies! <laughs> Rollies! Rollies. I'm taking notes? <laughs> Thirteen! Lucky thirteen! Ten. Three. Thirteen as well. Oh, oh roll, roll off! Roll off! Roll off. Rolly down! <laughs> Rolly down! Roll out! Natural twenty. Ten. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Fear, yeah. Again? Oh, uh, and he looks nervous and he starts to flush a little bit, but just goes, uh, <clears throat> what the fuck is up with, um, if you could, if you could take <laughs> anything on a desert island. <laughs> oh no, that's a dumb one. I'll ask this one. If you had the freedom to do anything you wanted to do, that we had no responsibilities, we had no debts, we had no worries, what would you do? Hmm. Think of that. I suppose I just want to see the world. Which I'm kind of doing now. But, you know, without the whole dragon hanging over my head. Me too. And I'd bring you three with me, obviously, because who else am I, am I gonna stick around? <laughs> We're stuck, even in a fantasy, she's stuck with this. <laughs> Unfortunately. He's very pleased with himself. <laughs> All right. So one more round here. 14. Three. Hey! Nine. Two. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> well, I'll say this. If you want to give it off to somebody else, you totally can. Um, let's just roll again. Sure. I can't think of roll anything again. in particular. <laughs> Seven. One. Oh. oh, two ones. What'd you get, Drake? Oh, for the love of Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Rollies again, the two ones. Okay. There we go. That's how we'll do it. Because I got nothing. <laughs> Hey, Rose. <laughs> um, at Nagaheim, what the fuck is up with if you were a bird, but not Albert Kahn bird? What bird would you like to be, and why? Is that how the game works? Is you guys annoying? clearly don't know how the game works, but that's okay. This is the oddities. <laughs> I, I don't know in character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the type of bird I would be. No, but like if you can't be, you can't be Albert. You have to pick another one. Which one would it be? Hmm. 
Oh my god, it's like they're spiraling right now. <laughs> I, I don't know. What about any animal? Ooh, yeah, what about an animal? Probably a clam, so I can kind of hide away and keep to myself. That's hilarious because I was about to say I wanted to be an otter, and they notoriously pry clams open. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to kill Nagmine? Is that what you're saying? I would have no. I would just want to see what's inside, and maybe eat their innards. No, um, it's the little thumbs. Interesting. I mean, they're, they're quick and be... adorable and vicious, and will take off a finger if you let them. If you're gonna be shellfish, I would say an oyster because when you, we open you, there's like a pearl, something very precious inside. Oh, and you use pearls. I do use pearls. How about you, Rose? Uh, I mean, hmm. when I look at Owl, I be. He seems to have a really good vibe, so I think I'd like to be a cat. It seems to be a good time to be a cat. I could handle a lot of naps. You can never be friends with Viria, though. Oh, shit. You think I forgot. I'm allergic <laughs> to you. <laughs> Maybe not a cat. I miss Owl. Um, I think he's having a good time, though, I'll be a... a hypoallergenic cat. So you just keep... I'm, I hope so. I hope he becomes the mascot. He's probably running the place right now. Oh, oh, 100%. He is even keel with Durant. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Durant got that letter I sent him. I don't even know if my parents got that letter I sent. Or if they'd gone. Who was Durant? Came. I'm kidding. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? I, I didn't even hear the thing. What'd you say? I said, who's Durant? <laughs> Ooh, that's a cold stare. That's a frosty look. <laughs> I, I, I only know him as daddy. Oh, hello. Come back. <laughs> what the fuck is up daddy? with that? Daddy? Do you find him attractive? Do you go for that old man look? Yeah, he's not. not. He's not. Wait, we're talking about that guy from the Slayer's Take, correct? Uh huh. Then yes, he is attractive. Oh. So, do you, you know, know if I am attractive, Paul? I do. It in a sort of a brotherly way. It's I can see it, but I don't feel it. You know, it's um. It's like when you look at a beautiful tree, but I don't want to kiss the tree. Yeah. I, uh, it's just because it's a tree. It's not, it's not a, you know, I, What, what do you prefer kissing then? W uh, me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I suppose, um. Or who do you want to kiss? Uh, well, I've kissed both. I've uh, I went to a boarding school, so it was lots of fellas, and I'm fine. No, 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 no. Like, who, who? As, I well, I've also kissed Catalina, as you probably have known. Um, uh, but I mean, we did I've, a lot of that on the way back from Whitestone. I've done much kissing oh. in my life with several people. Over the last oh, do you keep count? Couple of years, um, maybe no. Ooh, in oh. your journal, do you keep? I, I you don't. You keep tally. It's that's probably a that, little mock. I find like... that in poor taste to keep a tally of how many. Epic fumbles calls inside check. Has... <laughs> I would like to do an inside check. Yes. Go for it. Same. I'm doing it too. Tumbles. Absolutely, all around. <laughs> bravo! Awesome, bravo, chat! <laughs> that is an easy uh, on the inside 12. check. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, what specifically were you inside checking? If I keep a tally or... A list. 
a list. Your... Or just count if you keep count. Account, yeah. <laughs> of Next your conquests. Sheet, maybe. Oh. Next off sheet. Oh, he does. He does definitely keep count. When you said journal, his little eyes went. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> You were touching my stuff, Rose? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read it, but I know. <laughs> I, it never gets old. I just know. <laughs> uh, but what about you, Rose? Yeah. You had, you had that um, elven girl interested in you in the ball, and you just flat out rejected her. What the fuck is up with that? Didn't feel like it. That's all. Hmm. Fair. Have you kissed people? Do you kiss people? Yes, I do kiss people. What kind of people do you like to kiss? The the ones who like to kiss me. Okay. The lapping of the <laughs> waves in the background. Just yeah. yep. <laughs> you have any preferences or just is the only quota people who want to kiss you because that can people can take advantage of that you know rose is like uh, a nut inside of a rock <laughs> <laughs> you cannot crack no, it. Oh, oh that's what you were asking okay um well i like to kiss women i like to kiss men um i like to kiss people that are in between really there's no preference just yeah. People. I get that. All this talk of kissing. Um, Silence. <laughs> and then, um, what about you? Uh, when you, you say that, cult, uh, Rose will be oh. like that in the air. That's very <laughs> wet. To annoy you. I'm dinged. <laughs> just in, just to annoy you. <laughs> His ears are uh, just bright red. <laughs> Which is saying a lot well, because it's usually teal. <laughs> oh yeah, it goes a weird purple color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Nagaheim? I've only ever kissed one other person. And that was 30 some years ago. Maybe? No, 20 something years ago. Oh, that's a long time to go without a kiss. Mm -hmm. well, I suppose Just studying most of the time so I studied until I found out about kissing then I didn't feel like studying anymore God the story of Jason Jesus <laughs> <laughs> my god yes well I'm going to uh, set up the bubble Stand up and walk off to the side and start slowly performing the ritual of the castle. I think I think they might want to kiss my brother. Oh really? What? Did they what? hit it off when I think so. But Tens is not putting forth his best face right now, so I think that might uh well, if anything, he's showing off balance. <laughs> if, if anything, um, you know, pardon my rudeness, I suppose. But if anything, your brother is showing he's not as much of an uptight bastard as I thought he was. I thought you were about to say that as much as I was. <laughs> uh. I'm I'm not uptight, and you didn't say that, so I don't know why I'm defending myself. No, he's he's. It looks like he's not uptight. He's just snot snobbish. Um, I'm not terribly surprised he got drunk and ran off with a cult. I'm just really surprised at the timing he chose to take a lot of our family's property and uh, basically just give it away when my father has decided to. Um, leave the army and go live on the Feywild with mother in the woods. Well, 
again, I feel like uh, maybe... How old is your brother? He's a year younger than me. So Which is... How old are you? I'm 21. He's a well, baby. <laughs> well, you know, uh, maybe he just didn't really know what else to do in his situation. Mm, Auntie Orlok said something like that. Um, basically, she thinks Tens is acting out because he's sort of trying to live up to the expectations that Nell and I have been putting upon him by her going off to fight the Kryn Dynasty and me deciding to abandon my education and to go adventuring. And she's not wrong. So I think I kind of have to be a little nice to him when we do find him. But not after I kick his ass three ways from Sunday. You hear somewhere off in the distance. Kick him in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got strange wildlife around here with all the calls. <laughs> I've never heard a bird call like that before. Kick Was... him in the balls! <laughs> 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 Have a nut! I mean, caca! <laughs> <laughs> Albert? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so. And are you in favor of the two of them? I don't know. I. I had a talk with Nagheim because um, we have a big thing in our family about the long-lived creatures fraternizing with the shorter-lived creatures of this world. And I made sure that they realized that that was a thing that they would have to deal with it sooner or later. My mother's like in her 300s. My father's 50. But they are in a loving relationship, are they not? They are. Despite all of it, so... They are. But, um, father wants mother to be able to continue on. And... she He did joke and say to have him stuffed and put on the settee in, in their study so that she would... Never bring any... Is she into that? <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, that's a strange question, and uh, no, no, it was a joke. Um, it's not a cultural thing, okay. It's, it's no, it's not. Uh, it is, is, is that a thing? That is an, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! no! Oh! <laughs> Your burp disintegrated very, she oh, scatters no! to the wind like ashes. Oh my god! <laughs> Mine, I'm back. My, I guess Discord did a Sander. Oh, it, lo on me. it loves to just go. Nope, I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, you, you all froze, and I was like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna... <laughs> there you go. So you Ooh. were saying? <laughs> yes. Uh, a, He's where... not. She's not into that. Okay. No. Um. He wants Mother to find someone after him and that they treasured their time together and he realizes he probably only has about 30 years left with her and uh, she has probably about 200 more or something. Um, she's accepted that we will, uh, her children will die before she does. And, uh, Unless something unfortunate. Jesus. I like your gallows humor. See, now I think you're being serious, and then you're just like, no, I'm just making a dark joke. <laughs> uh, yes, but unless something unless something cuts off Mother's head, which I hope I'm... never happens. I don't really know what the Feywild is like. Perhaps they have a lot of decapitations there. I should really look into it more. Um, uh, but yes, so... I heard that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what was that? Gary Rum Rum. 
Gary has something to say. He does that all the time. We call him Gary Rum Rum because he goes Rum Rum. <laughs> and and uh, Colt will just babble for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Gary, break my concentration. Yeah, so I, I made sure I told Nekheim that. And I don't know if I've done them a favor or if I have put a bad way of thinking into their heads. A bit early for that talk. I mean, they haven't even kissed them. I know, but they've only talking kissed about them. like they're talking about like, ooh, better way your lover might die before you. Here's wait, wait. uh, here's you some perspective. Like um, you know, whatever lifespan you may have, there's always a chance that who you love pass before you do. So there's always a chance. Mm, true. You know, and one of you's bound to die before the other. Why worry about that? I suppose just make the most of what time you have. Why think about death while you're alive? I think about death uh, a lot. Same. You do? Yeah, I mean, for a while I you know, thought about it, but, um, the anger went out, so. What, like, the flame of anger was extinguished? No. It was, um, brighter than the allure of death, let's put it this way. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, I find it makes me feel alive. More than anything I've ever experienced. And it, that's very frightening. Like, when we died, I don't think I felt more alive until the moment after we came back. And when Nagheim and I were falling out of Whitestone, I never felt more alive than that. When that creature was chasing us in the forest, never have I felt more alive. Well, it's when you come close to losing something that you really start to value it, I suppose. It's sort of strange because I just want to chase that feeling. And I promised I wouldn't. It used to be like that. So, I get it. Back in my days, I was a wild young thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good impression. Was that Auntie Olaf? Mm hmm. It's very good. <laughs> She was wild. Kick her in the balls. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Ari. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> came very close. Uh, one second. I'm just going to say goodbye to my husband. Okay. Okay. Bye, Mark. We love you. Love you, baby. Mm. Oh, we didn't get our drawing tonight, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Something to look forward to in the future. I I don't think he is going anywhere. He was standing here <laughs> looking at me while we were having the moment. I'm like, nope, I gotta stay in character. <laughs> no, I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> All right, sorry. This is maybe a good time for Oi. Oh! Well, I Oily. was gonna say, as this conversation winds down, point of inspiration. Oh, that was so soft too. But it picked up finally. <laughs> anyway, anyway. True. You guys all retire into the bubble 
one by one, slowly but surely. Ethereum. Uh, that is not the right voice. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, Jesus. I'm screwing up everything. The, no, the way Dragon's like, she's like, wait, wait. Hang on. <laughs> I'm much more frightened. I'm having an identity crisis right now. <laughs> Hang on. That's my thing, White Dragon. So I'll tell you what, we will go to a bathroom break and we're going to pick up right there once I get my shit in order. <laughs> we are kitty keys. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out. Stick around. You're going to see a little sample of what our subscribers get in the form of the lovely emotes. And then you get to see a little bit of Chuck's lovely, lovely art. And then we I'll will be back in about five to ten minutes. Stick around.
and welcome back, everybody. All right. Spirit, Jason's making threats. I did no such I don't thing. Like it. <laughs> okay. So, as you all lay down for the evening, you hear the lapping of the waves. And to anyone, at any time, that would be a calming, soothing noise. But then you feel it on your hands, the cold water washing off. But it's not taking the stains away. You scrub harder and harder, but the stains remain. That cold comfort kills you to the bone. It had to be done. It had to be done. And for some reason, you just can't quite seem to get the rest that you need for the night. And tomorrow, Rose, you wake up with a point of exhaustion. Occasionally, your friend Viria looks over at you. Maybe she'll ask you about it tomorrow. The fact that you seem so restless when typically you're the first one to nod off. And then very slowly Rests her weary bones. Brighter than the embers of death. We are more alike than you know, Viria Arena. Will you speak now? Asleep, shut it. But unfortunately, the constant of impatience, you wake up the next morning with a point of exhaustion. But the next morning does come and you all wake up. What is everybody wanting to do? Everyone would wake up to the bubble being down and they kind would already be out having tea cuddled up with Albert and just watching the waves. Get up and have a little stretch and go sit with uh, Nanheim. Tea? Uh, coffee? I can make it taste like coffee. Yeah. Go daffle on the road. Sure. I'll pour some tea, like her palm, and the spray that would come from Presto is the color of coffee. Like, it's a little chocolatey glimmer and then and now tastes and smells like coffee ah brilliant what's that called again coffee and hot chocolate is that mocha is that what that is yeah mm -hmm. yep. continue I just uh, Nick, I'm, you wanted to play that game yesterday i think we continued after you left um you didn't really roll terribly high on your dice. Was there anything you wanted to ask? To be honest, I just wanted to get to know Rose a little. But that's like when you play a game with dice, 
You don't always get the results you want. Well, next time, maybe just stay up a little bit longer with us. I, I had to do the tent so you would not offer the, the bubble, so you all wouldn't be waiting. I was able to listen, I just can't really talk while I'm doing the ritual. Right. You were listening in on what we were talking about? Yeah. A reminder, I'm a lot more perspe perceptive than I let on sometimes. I didn't really mean to talk about you behind your back. I assumed you thought I was listening, so... I... I'm sorry, I... A little embarrassed. I, I didn't. I. Then you heard what I said about not feeling right about talking to you about tens. I did this to my hair because it was time for me to grow up. I mean, do what I need to do, no matter what it is. And I could not. <coughs> I'm still dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> T's just gone down the wrong pipe. You take one d6 noodle damage. Oh, my noodles are so good, though. Anyway, um, um. My dream with magic are to come to fruition. I don't think I can have anyone by my side to distract me from that. So you do not have to worry about Tenza's heart or mine, <coughs> or mine being broken. I mean, I meant, um, I was maybe perhaps a little premature, and just like our conversation yesterday, we, it just sort of happened, and maybe yeah. things might just sort of happen. Maybe you can enjoy both in the right proportions. And he takes off his ridiculous hat and just sort of puts it on his lap and sort of smooths out his jaw purrs a little bit. And I, I'm, I am a grown-up. I, I, I do like maybe taking on a bit of a persona of what I'd like to be. It feels really strange for me to say that I'm only 21 years old. You're much older than me. And I, I am a grown man. I, I am a grown man. I have responsibilities and I take them seriously. Yes, I, 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 I do know. Um, sometimes I. As they best. sip from <laughs> Adventure Time Cup. <laughs> but I might not be the best when it comes to speaking with people, but. Just keep in mind, most of my life was in a cabin, studying. Mm -hmm. So if things I say do come off or come out weird, feel free to correct me. I've never had socializing like this before, really, for long periods. Well, it's like the process of growing a plant. <laughs> Keep on going, plant girl. Let's hear it. <laughs> uh, you have to cultivate and... <laughs> and... Uh... <laughs> uh, psychic damage. Uh... <laughs> and it, it, it takes time. And I think you're doing wonderfully. We just like to nudge you along. 
you know, we're not trying to change you or make you something that you're not. Um, call it positive encouragement. It's hard to make someone something they're not when you don't even know what they are. Well, that's all about... That's kind of why I dress the way I do and try out different things and write about all my experiences. I'm just trying to figure out what makes me. I think when this is finished, I need to visit the Enchantress. It's time to figure out who I was and what I'm meant to do. I can't figure out who I am until I know who I used to be. I think I like very much who you are now. And who you're proving yourself to be. Because you prove it time and time again with us. That you are someone who cares deeply and are willing to sacrifice their self, their safety, their health, their lives for others. That's what I feel like she did as well. My past self. Just, I can't recall if you've told me, do you know your past self's name? I only know what I looked like. And that's I, who we see when you cast the image. And my book will just glow and beside me, she will appear. I know nothing. I can't tap into it. I, I've tried so hard to figure out, but I'll well. figure it out. I have, you know, another 300, 400 years to go. There's no rush. Just hope it doesn't drive me crazy. More so than it already does. So you are a mad one, aren't you? <laughs> I'm afraid it's only gonna get worse from here. Oh, I meant it as a joke. So did I. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> the image will just kind of disperse. My book will just softly land on the ground. And what are the other two doing? Well, in the background, like, as the image appears, he <laughs> just, like, nudges Rose and she's like, Who's that? <laughs> oh, he's up. Shh, I'm still sleeping. Rose is uh, I'm wrong that I'm tired. Yeah. I'll just start nudging the blanket off of her. Oh, like pulling it oh, very oh. slowly. Mom, no one I want to go this morning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is and this is why I'll wave, Rose I'll can't wave read. A, I'll, wave, <laughs> I'll wave a bit of pocket bacon under her nose. <laughs> that was my finger. But... Why would you put your finger there? I have to hold the bacon. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> and then the very confused and tired Rose eventually gets up. Reluctantly. Fair enough. So, absolutely. You all collect the rest of the camp. You get the horses, and looking to the east, you see the formation of a gorge. A small one near the base of the mountains, but it's worth investigating should you want to. To the gorge. To the gorge. All right. So with that, you make your way to this space. Oh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to myself is the weird thing. Because as soon as it came out of my mouth, I was like, you shut your dirty mouth, Jason. 
Because I know what I have brought. Mr. Jason (laughs) telling me to shut the fuck up like that. (laughs) That's daddy to you. No. (laughs) Oh my god. No, stop it. We're not. No. You're not wrong. (laughs) Oh my god. Um, can I put in a request to change the layout instead of it, it saying like oh, no. human DM? Can it just say Jason to two dots, no. Daddy? No. <laughs> daddy, daddy DM. We Ooh, need to yeah, go just on say a break. Daddy DM. I can't reach the button. I'm hiding my face. <laughs> oh, c- come on, chat. We we, oh, we, we no. let's put on this. Yes <gasps> to Daddy. No. Yes, daddy. I can't look at you now. <laughs> Oh no, oh no! Yeah, yeah. Jason oh. has become my favorite fucking hobby. Stop! Stop! <laughs> it's not even hard. Uh, no. That's what she said. No. <laughs> I hope she didn't say that. Well, <laughs> that's a terrible thing. Okay, stop. Seriously. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Let's investigate this gold. No, Zyvan, no! Bad Zyvan. <laughs> okay. <sighs> You all arrive at the base of the mountains. And unfortunately, you do see that the path through the mountains is too narrow for you to be riding on the horses safely. Nagheim especially, you are looking at this. Riding on top of a horse is a new thing for you. Even this stretch from the campsite to the mountainside, you are a little apprehensive. Seeing how there are many boulders and broken rocks that you will have to travel over, it might be a little precarious to go forward on horseback at any kind of pace. So test it, see how you want to go. Might be some checks involved if you want to stay on horseback. Otherwise, it'll be walking the horses through single file. So what would what the fuck is going on there, Fred? <laughs> she's, she's peeling her skin off. It like seriously looks like is that's not what we're seeing, is it? I, I'm the only one who knows what that is right now. Okay, because I was just going to say, Twitch terms of service. I mean, I think we might be breaking some laws if that's what yeah, I just witnessed. No, no, no. I'm just feeling the second skin. That's a, 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 basically a bandage. But that was oh, my okay. Hands. That's all. You started it, it with like second. The, the word skin was in there, so I got scared. Everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> I was sitting here just waiting for someone to notice. <laughs> <laughs> I've been avoiding con- eye contact from this side of the screen, and then I look up and I see Rose on this side. I'm like, I can't win today, guys. <laughs> no, we are full of beans. Oh, all right. Coolio. Oh, this is fun. All right. <laughs> so what is the game plan do you guys want to test the waters with going horseback as much as you can do you want to not chance it and go at a much slower pace with the horses and tow what do you want to do i'm out of breath um well for sake of time i mean if anybody has anything to uh any apprehension about uh traversing this on horseback speak up now because i'd rather just make the time if we can, but I don't want to put anyone at risk. Was that? Iria was dozing off in her saddle this entire time. <laughs> uh, if anyone has any objection, I'll, uh, we could stay on the horses. I could even, we can have uh, Nagheim in betwixt my horse and someone else's horse uh, and just uh, do it like a trail trail ride. From a survival standpoint, do I have any knowledge whether this is a great idea or a bad idea? I mean, no more so than anybody else, I would think. So it's pretty much personal opinion for everybody at this point. I don't have any input. I'm too tired for to have an opinion. Well, what's the what's the gorge look like? Is could our could our horses break leg or something? If this. the horses are not so dumb that they would run full on into a tree like most video games, uh, they are self-aware, but also no, but it I does mean, depend like... on the rider as well, guiding them along. So yeah, it would be a little bit of input from you as well. Mm. Because I meant like if it's like a rockier terrain, sometimes mm-hmm. horses have less footing on there. So yeah, that's mm-hmm. kind of the situation you're looking at. Yeah. It's possible, but... Should we traverse on foot, then? Guiding the horses. 
Well, it would probably be best. That's two. Perfect. Nagelheim we'll isn't an experienced writer, so. Fair enough. All right. All right. Um, we dismount. Okay. So with that, <clears throat> you guys can see what's what on roll twenty there. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. And. Oops. Come back here, you. Choo, 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 choo. As you all begin to travel through the narrow space through the mountains. But at first you didn't recognize our gray clouds that are slowly making their way across the sky. And a rain slowly falls down the thin crack between the mountains. Making our way. I'm going to just um, <laughs> and a small flowing river flows underfoot, which is beneficial since you are all walking that the horses cannot see very well what they are stepping upon, but you making your footing and everything as you go along, leading them through a little more safe. Dancing lights are going to kind of follow us up, or, like around our feet, just so we can see through the water proper. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Now, the pathway you're walking down, seeming almost man-made, not by hand or tool, but almost as if the two peaks were pulled apart by some force outside of nature, standing between these two massive structures on either side of you. Their minds can't help but play at the idea that the mountain wants to become whole again, and that the split rock on either side of you is coming closer together, wanting desperately to heal itself. Pebbles kick out from under your feet, loose rocks tumble down from above and echo all around you. If there was any life here, listening, watching, you're not sure that you would be able to tell from which direction they would come. Now, because you're all traveling by foot, I won't make you make any ability checks. It's walking. I assume you all know how to do it. But this is about 100 miles to get from the entrance to the exit. And that's about, I'd say, three miles an hour at this point. So after 10 rough hours in the rain, you guys are about 30 miles into this gorge before you have to bed down for the evening again. Oh my god, that's so long! <laughs> Good thing we packed some extra rations. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of hunting in here. Well, we can maybe try again for fish. Is there? Yeah. I did really well yesterday. You absolutely you could. Except you're in the middle the of a gorge. Is... Where there oh, is... No, wa no. Oh, the okay. I assume there would be like what's... a bit of water. Okay. Well, the water that's pouring down is building up in like a ravine kind of thing underfoot. It's not like there's a oh. water source. I'm sorry if I didn't make that clear. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, for some reason I thought we were f sort of following, like, a Yeah, river. or maybe that there was, like, a deeper area. No, it's pretty much like this, and, like, the okay. little pool of water you see at the bottom in that picture is what rainwater is being collected, but otherwise okay. it's all stone going along. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Alrighty -o. Never mind. But you do have rations. You guys did plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the first of your six days rations that you're actually getting into, so that's a bonus. And I had extra as well that I already had on myself. And so. pocket bacon, so. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I have any pocket bacon. I'm all out of my wrist pocket. Well, what kind of rogue are you? A terrible one, God. apparently, who's <laughs> not a ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Treating me like I know. <laughs> How dare you. How are you doing, Nagheim? Uh, Nagheim would be already working on cast, doing the ritual cast. Okay. They can yeah. hear you if you want to talk. Mm -hmm. They just have to concentrate, but they can hear you. 
Well, I just know we, we've done a lot of walking, so I'm just uh, checking on them. I'm probably gonna get an early start on sleep tonight. I'm quite tired. Uh, I'm gonna take off my boots and give my feet a rub. <laughs> Oh, Once. build a fire, maybe, would dry off my, my Once the my bubble stockings. is up, I'm gonna dry the entire ins inside. Mm -hmm. And then as people's shoes come off, then I will also dry them. Put shoes off at the door. <sighs> my feet are killing me. 100%. Mine too. Ooh, maybe we could do, like, a foot massage circle. Oh... Are you offering to rub my feet, Rose? I'll rub, I'll rub your feet if you rub my feet, but like, what we could do is I rub Nagaheim's feet, Nagaheim rubs your feet, you rub, ro uh, no, um, you rub Viri's feet, and then we, Viri rubs my feet, and then we all get our feet rubbed. <laughs> Just everybody is like one foot over here and then spread eagle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we all, we do, we do one foot at a time, and then we alternate, and we we rotate, and that way, like, yeah. I'm, I'm in, and he sort of puts his feet forward, and now you can see a little bit of the orcish heritage, because <laughs> they are gnarly feet. <laughs> big hammer right. toes, like, big square. Now, I like, will say... Really, they're, like, really crooked. <laughs> yeah, I will say... Out of respect for some people in this industry, I'll say each of you have the good sense to kick your feet outside of the bubble, let the rainwater wash them off so they're not I was going to say, like, Nag, can you presto the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything would be prestoed, but Nagheim is... Take a lesson. <laughs> Nagheim is not touching oh. anyone's feet, and no one's touching their feet. Mark forgot his keys and he just came back. So I gotta go oh, let him in. So no worries. You guys do the foot rub. You don't I like massage be... anyway, so ha ha. <laughs> I'm really ticklish. Oh, okay. Well, that's acceptable. That's canon for cult, by the way. We we can we can we can have a foot massage three shape instead of circle. Try. Well, what you can do, you can massage the calves instead of the actual foot. I'm not too keen on people touching my feet. I don't know, it sounds weird. Is it like a fetish thing? To not touch someone's foot? I don't think that that's the opposite. No, to, to <laughs> foot rub. Sorry, that was worded very poorly. <laughs> I leave this I to you guys, okay? Yeah, I can, I can, well, I can. I since no one wants only since only call you you can you can conference. work on each other and i'll yeah. just and i'll I, turn around and i'll start like kind of massaging my own feet <laughs> i i will massage <laughs> i'm like mm. i'll massage my feet and then we will live happily ever after <laughs> <laughs> oh 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 that's real nice oh very sure i can do one of your feet and rose's feet but they're so small Look, you can fit the whole thing in your mouth. Wait, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm not gonna put it in my mouth. I'm just, I'm commenting on how small it is. Are you it sure it's not a fetish thing? <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not really. I mean, is it? No, it's not. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope I, this I doesn't rather... awaken anything in me. I'm, I'm not mean, judging, I'm just asking. <laughs> I am judge. No, I can't hear you, kiddo. <laughs> I, 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 I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rose will say, like, wait, no, I am judging. I would prefer you don't find this out while you're massaging my feet. <laughs> no, uh, I, I, it's, it's not a turn on for me. It's not a, it's not a thing. It's not a fetish. I, I don't think I, and he looks at, looks at Rose's foot and he goes, no, it's just a foot. I don't have to, I just. So your foot, okay, so just so we're clear, my feet won't make your kissing list. They will not, I'm afraid. I apologize. Okay. Uh, Can I roll an inside check? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at disadvantage. <laughs> Wait, at, sorry? Because you're advantage exhausted. Or disadvantage? <laughs> disadvantage. Disadvantage, that's right. Yeah. Hi, hi. Hmm? Um, oh, that would have been a freaking. What's my inside? Modifier again. 
Oh, that would have been a friggin' 19, so it's a 13. Well, I rolled a... <laughs> it's... It's you not. could, you could! <laughs> well, I'll, t- I'll tell you now, I rolled a 5 on my persuasion check because he does not find feet attractive in that manner. Hmm. So, Viria, um, you notice that cult kind of bounces back and forth between the no, I wouldn't. Your cute feet. No, I wouldn't. It's that whole kombucha girl face, you know? <laughs> like, unless? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, um, am I into this? Uh, gotta get past the smell. But she's got I'll, cute I'll feet. Just... Uh, no, I don't think I can. I'll give Colt a very long, unblinking look. <laughs> you can't really read whether she believes you or not. But, um, and then she'll go back to, like, trying to massage her own feet. Uh, Viri. Mm-hmm. Remember this scroll that we have? The in, um, inversion spell? Oh, uh, right. The one we found back, uh, back, uh Yes. I was just, mm-hmm. since we have a moment moment before you go to sleep, while I transcribe it, the Perhaps I can try to find a way t- for you to properly learn the spell. If you sit with me, we can I'm, break the spell down. I'm open to it. I just can't guarantee I'll be a very good student tonight because I am feeling uh, oh. particularly tired. But um, I can I can try. Yeah. Well, we have to start somewhere. So. Sorry, I'm being distracted right now. Um, yes, uh, sure, we can we can try, and then if I f- can feel myself falling asleep, I'll, I'll let you know. Of course. And Nick and will pull out their book and the scroll, and just start going over the basics of the scroll in, like, the form of just how to pull at it through the arcane means, trying to make it as relatable to your magic as possible. Yeah, attempting to teach Viri a spell. Yeah, so DM, uh, what's uh, what's going on? Hmm? I was massaging... I Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> He's teaching me. Now I just want to like, oh, I want to just rub my hands. What That'd was going nice. on? <laughs> um, you guys are teaching inversion? Or you're transferring inversion to I'm Viria? I'm transcribing it, yep. but do, while doing that at the same time, trying to teach Viria the spell itself. Okay. Yeah. And I told them that I was... Sorry, I, I should probably speak close to the mic. I heard you. You were shouting. It's all good. Yeah. Um, no, I was saying that I'm willing to try. It's just that considering I am I have a point of exhaustion, yeah. I warned them that I was tired right now. So. Yeah. Um, so I will get you to make an arcana check with disadvantage, Ari. Or, sorry, Mavirio. Oh. Okay. Uh, guidance. Yeah, sure. I'll take and it. Hells yeah. Would it be a normal roll because Nagheim is helping? Uh, because Nagheim is teaching? No, because you're concentrating on comprehend languages to actually read the scroll because it's written in a different language. Well, I mean, what's... The... Okay. So, disadvantage with guidance. Uh, 11. Okay. So I'll say... You know what? I'll re-roll using one of my inspirations because I have oh, a yeah. lot. There you go. So with this advantage again... Yeah. Uh, that's even worse. That's okay. a nat one. <laughs> oh, okay. <Plus>. Well... <laughs> So I'll use the 11, I suppose. Okay, well, even the nat one, I won't, it's not like you epically fumble it. Um, (laughs) But you don't, you're just like, you're not at your best right now. And trying to comprehend a spell, and this is a new way of learning things, and it's a whole different ballgame for you. It's not sticking like you'd want it to. Um, But I will say, fortunately... The spell scroll doesn't fade, so there can be a second attempt. But the DC might be a little higher. Mm. Is that fair? Okay. I'm sorry, Nagheim. It's uh, 
Yeah, I probably, I probably should sleep before I try this again. It's really not um, doing it for me. I was never much of a studious person. I did not cast my first spell the first day. It took me years of learning. You already have a base magic, which is our base practice in magic, which is why I feel like it's something we can do. But, you know, as they say, Syngorn was not built in a day. Mm. It was built in a day. <laughs> so. We can try again tomorrow night. Or whenever. I have this, I have the spell in my book. Stop. There's no worries on that. Alright. I think I'm better off heading to bed for now. Alright. As you head to bed, you hear... <laughs> As Rose has already fallen asleep. She yep. takes yep. her stuff and moves it away from Rose because she's like, I need to actually sleep tonight and with the snoring, it's going to be very hard. <laughs> she only finished one foot. I'm not going to do the had, other one. Good yeah, night. Rose has one of those like <laughs> kind of um, circulation like conditions where like once you start circulating the blood throughout her foot, it just knocks her right out. <laughs> yeah. And she'll be thankful for that in the morning. Colt's gonna take some time to do, write in his journal and do little doodles of the what the gorge looks like. Mm -hmm. And kind of falls asleep on his book. Make a constitution saving throw, Colt. Oh my god. Throw. Twenty. You do dirty. not drool on your journal throughout the night. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> These are the important rules, people. <laughs> Nagheim, you're doing your four-hour thing. Yep. As always. Okay. Just meditate, like just setting, like cross-legged. Albert, cur like burrowed in my lap, and just kind of. Meditate. Fair enough. Virya, what are you doing? Sleeping. <laughs> Where are you now? Sleeping. You find a position in the bubble where you're far enough away from Rose because you don't want any kind of distraction. You even take whatever kind of material you can find in your carrying bag to kind of muffle it around your head even around your eyes just so that the dark isn't there and throughout the night you try and distract yourself because you don't want to listen to anything that might be in the background so you think of something else you think listen to the rain listen to it along the bubble surface And you wake up the next morning. <laughs> Points of exhaustion are gone. Yeah. You're finally throwing me a bone. But the rain is coming down heavier. I feel like we might need to ride the horses. <sighs> If you're okay with that, I've got you back. I'm, I'm right with you. Well, I'm feeling a lot more rested, so we can put you between us if you want. Keep my dancing lights up along the ground to light the path for us. Like, there's going to be one in the front, one in the middle, and one in the back, just to illuminate the ground all around us. Okay. Rose, are you feeling good? Did I wake up feeling good? Yes, you did. So okay. you are no longer exhausted. Um, well, you asked me this question as I am making breakfast for the group. 
Way. What are you making? Um, dehydrated eggs omelet. <laughs> oh, mm. powdered eggs. <laughs> like okay, like you know when you, you know when you go camping and you buy rations and they have like those dehydrated eggs and then you he rehydrated them into like yeah, that's that's what you're eating for breakfast. Sorry. Yum, Anyone's yum. ever seen Mash? <laughs> the show, <laughs> yeah. the, TV, the television show. Yeah, <laughs> not just potatoes. Oh, All right. We missed that. Are she still talking? Oh no! Oh, sorry. I I'm gonna sprinkle. I'm trying to like uh, spice it up a little bit so it doesn't taste like mush too much. Rose, make a perception check for me, please. Perception queen. Well, you say that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll also say, don't forget to take exhaustion off your sheet there, just so. Oh, I forgot. I closed the <laughs> roll 20. I'm so dumb. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, as long as it's off your sheet, that's all that matters. It's all good. Um, a so perception. I rolled something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not First roll, It's a nine. Nine? Oh. But I'm going to roll again and use my inspiration. Oh, sure. not the standards that we want. Yeah. <laughs> you got to roll for cooking with Rose. 18. Yeah, there, you there you go. As you are rummaging through your spices and everything like that that you have on your person, mysteriously, there, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting the notification that she's no active conditions anymore. That's great. Uh, you're rummaging around your spices and you come across one little sampling container that you don't remember putting in there. And strangely enough, this is just before you start making everything. And your curiosity gets the best of you, so you take a little sniff and immediately you are brought back to the silver weed ship. You immediately remember your friend Remy, as he snuck a little pouch of his own special spice into your own collection. It's like Old Bay. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on the eggs. You got it. Test it out. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I don't know. Everybody make I a mean, constitution like... saving. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but everybody do make a perception check, please. Perceptions. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know if I could find a ghost in Not this 20. gorge. Nice. 16. 16? Nat That's 20 for cult? Yeah. Two <laughs> nat 20. So. Do I roll again? Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll say that Rose was waiting for everybody to taste test the eggs first. And you look at the expression on both Nagheim and Colt's faces. One who has experienced the most exquisite, exquisite food that anybody could imagine. The other is very, very particular about what they consume. And both of them have a look on their face like they didn't know. Uh, wh what did you call it? What kind of eggs are these? Condensed? Is that um, right? Dehydrated. Dehydrated, powdered, thank you. Or powdered, yes. I don't think either of them will ever go back to regular eggs because these are the most delicious dehydrated eggs they have ever tasted. They can't put their finger on why, but god damn, they could eat this for the rest of their lives. Viria is like, mm. it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but Did now, you find a nest or something? These taste fresh and delicious. Oh, no, I just sprinkled a little something on top of it. A little, little, little bit of spice to make it um, a little bit special. So yeah, Rose, if you want to make... It's not drugs. Oh, <laughs> I didn't assume that it was, but I'm glad that it isn't. I'm not following that up. <laughs> Nagheim, you want okay. some eggs? Oh, they're eating it too. Yeah. It was a joke. It was, a, it was a call back to the Nagheim you want some drugs. Oh, right. oh. oh my god! 
She keeps pulling the lore. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we keep like, the lore huh? keeper. <laughs> Goodness Very gracious. Good. All right. So breakfast is had. Everybody is attempting the horses. Yeah. Is that what I'm gathering? Mm hmm. We'll put Nagaheim between Colt and I. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So I will say everybody make an animal handling check, please. Guys. You got it. Check. All right, I still didn't talk to a ghost. Oh, oh that's boy. right. I, inspiration. I, Another inspiration. Sure, go for oh, it. Yeah, inspiration. Okay. Cool. That's why I need feather. <laughs> the exact same have, roll. I have so, luck. Can't, can't you do have luck. You can use it. Okay, oh, I have another inspiration. I'm gonna. I, I still have two, so I'll use another one. I don't even know what you rolled. <laughs> I didn't hear I rolled it. a... I rolled an eight. Oh, okay. Well, that tracks with everybody else right now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, uh, natural 20. Hey. You know what? I'm going to use another... No, actually, no. Never mind. Okay. And Nagheim, you're sticking with eight? I don't have any inspiration. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I gave you one yesterday. You didn't? Nope, nope. I think she no. did during the it's game. It's always been game. Ari and Rose. Or Viria and Rose. No, but no, yesterday during Fred, our, Fred our stuff. Fred wasn't on stream last night. Yeah. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. got two inspirations and I gave, I got three. I gave one to Ari, I gave one to you, and I gave one to Nora. Yeah. Well, you've got one is what I'm saying. <laughs> I would have written it down, but I'm going to keep it. Fair okay. Enough. Fair enough. All right, so Rose Nagheim, and, sorry, Viri, what was your role again? Nat twenty. Nat twenty. So twenty-one. Right on. Uh, Rose and Nagheim, both your horses hit a rock the wrong way, and immediately they collapse. Oh, maybe. Yep. So. Two horses look to be out of commission for this trip, unfortunately. Oh, snap. How out of commission are we talking? Well, literally, snap. Oh, no, um, you... I like to use cure wounds. Sure. On them. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to cast it at... Well, hold on. Does cure wounds cast in a group or do you do it individually? Individually. Okay. Oh, this got real, y'all. But I'll do it at second level on each. Okay. Hydrate. I can't right now. My tea is too hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I will see. Yeah. <laughs> I'd use cure wounds to repair the bone. Okay. Fair the enough. Bones. I had pretty good rolls on it too, so. Nice. All right. So that happens about halfway into your trek, I'd say. Well, it happened not at the same time, obviously, because that seems weird. So somewhere in the middle, two horses took the fall, healed back up after a little while. Uh, a little skittish getting them back, so there is a little bit of time lost, but you can still try and attempt to go through this again on the horses if you wish. We, should we continue on foot this? I I think so. I think that's going to be for the best. I'd rather not put these animals through that no. stress again. Otherwise, it would have been hmm. not so nice. I so mean, I'd we say... could have used them for food. She's not wrong. I've but never we eaten them a horse. We don't this really is... eat our horses, but, I mean, it's fair. Well, when... You know, you have to put the animal out of its misery. And... You would S eat Mixie Trotel? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, if I had to. But like... I'm we would just... I like the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not, it's, not, it's not that I want to, it's just that, you know, you can't let the animal suffer in the middle of nowhere, and we might as well eat. Okay, but we're not there yet, are we? 
No, we're not. We will continue on foot and avoid, you know, getting there. <laughs> Colt, like, gives, gives swamp ass. <laughs> swamp you ass did this, second. Chuck. You did this. A little bit. <laughs> a little, little pet. And just, like, whispers to swamp ass the second, goes, when a horse passed away on the estate, we'd just have a funeral and bury it. <laughs> It's wasteful. <laughs> She's not wrong. She is not wrong. And Viri will lean into uh, <laughs> Hustle and Bustle the Second's ear and go like, "I'd obviously save you for last. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat you last." <laughs> you just see a horse eye staring back at you, Viri. Like, <laughs> oh sweet lord. We just okay. invited to get into the chat. You invited what into the chat? Uh, listen. <laughs> Their track record yeah. isn't the best, so. I know. This is always funny. Okay, so. I'd say by the time the light that's useful to you guys in this uh, gorge here fades, you'll have gotten about another 50 feet in. So you're at 80 feet of 100 feet through this gorge. Miles. Yeah. Because that's what I said. <laughs> okay, good. Get it. I thought you were, I thought you were giving me shit there for a second. <laughs> I know. It's like, no. I'm just, feet. <laughs> I'm just stupid. <laughs> yes, you're correct. Miles. All right. Oof. Um, so we're 20 miles off? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, you guys could push it just to get out of the gorge if you wanted to. Um, but it'd be a disadvantage for a lot of things. Yeah. What if, can I, can I maybe cast light to give us? Oh, we also like, have my dancing lights. Mm. Oh yeah. Would that would that help us finish these last twenty miles without? Uh... That's up to you guys. Rose, oh. what do you think? Because oh. I will remind you, at this pace, you're going three miles per hour. So it'll take another like close to seven hours to get out. Okay. I say we we rest for now. Yeah, that was a trying day. I think. Uh, I mean, you lost your wizard ride. and everything. My God. Uh, speaking of wizard, mm. I do have something to ask them. Okay, I'll remind you. <laughs> That's a very weird sounding wind. Oh, it's. I'm sorry. I think it's... <laughs> uh, the mountains. The mountains near the near the Rifimis, uh Sometimes the wind, if it hits the peak of the mountains a certain way. It kind of howls this weird way. It goes like, it goes like, or sometimes, and sometimes it goes, like, you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it sounds, it kind of sounds like a, a, a daddy blowing tea. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're yeah. gonna have a talk it after the stream. Described, <laughs> and it's often described that way. Yes. Actually, it, 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 it has that name in Elvish. It's a daddy of the bread and bee. <laughs> oh, oh, but it better better. Yes, it means literally the wind that howls like a daddy blowing tea. <laughs> it's very good, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Repeat that. What was what was the word? I don't speak Elvish, so. Oh, oh well, it, it translates into the wind that howls like. Yeah, no, but I want to hear. I want to. I want to hear the actual Elvish word. Um. The daddy the brewing the the daddy the daddy the daddy don't make me do it again. <laughs> I just I'm needed like, to I'm, emphasize. I'm torturing everyone tonight. I'm <laughs> sorry, but oh look I'm at not. that! Nagheim is back. Cult, you wanted to have a conversation. <laughs> I did, but after I take out my journal and I slowly write in Elvish, um, the daddy. Oh, 
and I show Rose how I make letters. And I was like, this is elvish, but we'll probably start with common, but maybe tomorrow night. And I, he just uh, writes an A and he tears off the little piece of paper and gives it to Rose. Here's your first letter. Take a look at it, get to know it, become friends with it. And uh, Negheim, I was, because we're pretty delayed, um, <laughs> Is there a chance you can message my brother and see how he is alive? Yeah. If you're okay with that. No problem. Uh, what spell slot is this? Okay, yeah. So. I kind of sense we'll go white. And I will cast sending. Um. Oh, here. Let me get my. <laughs> She's got a chart for it and everything. Look at this. I, I do. I count them. Nice. Tens. Are you all right? Do you know where you are? We're on our way. Please stay safe. And you have eight to spare. I think that's fine. Yep, that's good. It takes a while, but eventually you get the response of, do you have any idea what time it is right now? I don't know where you are, but it's awfully late here. Talk to you soon. That's it. Oh, I'm gonna strangle that little shit. I'll send one more message to him. <laughs> Messages this late are your punishment for taking off with your family's horses. And without leaving a mouth. The response comes back. Punishment. Ooh. The eye roll that Nagheim does. <laughs> is, even while their eyes are just pure white through sending, you just see the eye roll still. <laughs> it makes a physical sound. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> like a last Like a daddy stable. blowing tea in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, cult, I, even with an 11 passive perception, I think Cult would be staring right at Nagheim while they do this. And as they roll their eyes, he goes, mm, Oh, he made a punishment joke, didn't he? Gross. <laughs> gross, gross, gross. Gross, I hate him. I'm going to kick him in the balls. Auntie, I'm going to kick him in the balls. Kick him in the balls. Kick Ivan, do not. <laughs> oh, snap, do, oh, do, do not. Oh, is, it, is that why Fred's camera went dark? Oh, so help me God, if she comes back and that's in there. Oh, you dirty little mix. <laughs> Up. Hi. <laughs> hey. oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, what? fuck this shit. Um, <laughs> what? What's going on? Nothing. I just want to refill my water. <laughs> uh, I trust that spark. Aviri, before you go to sleep, which you oh, like to do? Yes, again? let's try. I'm feeling a lot better today. Since it's, I don't have to focus on mm. comprehend language because I have already transcribed it into my book. I can potentially give Viri advantage. I'm sorry, what the fuck? What? To, to learn the spell, because I've already transcribed it into my book. Oh, okay. We're going to try again. Am I able to give her advantage because it's in a language I speak? Hmm. Sure. Also guidance. 
another arcana check? Please. I'll specifically have it done oh. out in like celestial. Ooh, look at that dance. That's a nat 20 dance, isn't it? It is a nat 20 dance hey. with a four on the guidance D4. Oh. I'm not making this shit up. Nice. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, man. And the other dice was a 15 plus four, so. There goes there goes my amazing rolls for the night. That's, all, that's it. <laughs> all right. So add that to your spell list. Oh, we don't. Okay. <laughs> well, it already wasn't there. It's ready. Now you can utilize it. Harness that power. <laughs> Don't get too stoked. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm going to have to figure a way out. So we oh. can make it where you, you can use magic more freely. Because I believe you're very restricted on the amount you can use. Yeah, usually it's uh, not a lot. Unless I sleep. Well, not sleep, but... You know, take, take a very short uh, break between casting... Try to think of something. Uh, You've got to be fucking um, kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Yep. <laughs> so, chat, how do you want to do this? <laughs> They're taking pictures. I hope you guys know. <laughs> no, I'm trying it out. Oh, it's it needs, it needs space. Christ. It has a cooldown. It has a cooldown. Thank you, way. God. That's one mercy. Um, okay, okay. It as has a cooldown. As much as I love chaos and yeah. I want to encourage chaos, I do and, love. And don't think I didn't notice. Like as soon it was, as soon as it was mentioned that this was a possibility, the first name I see pop up was Ghost Figs doing Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. I see things, you guys. All right, regardless. Back to our yes. Pro game of Dungeons and Dragons. So you are betting down. Yeah. Wait, were we yeah. going to sleep or waking up? Where were we? Going sleep. to bed. Going to bed. Okay. Well, I just want to say, um, not in that tone, but um, <laughs> thank you, Nagaim. Of course. You're a very good teacher. I don't know if this is your first time teaching someone. Well, we did this already. You caught, you taught me how to, and I made your book disappear. Anyway, not the point. I'm glad it's able to help. I feel like finding different ways to make you stronger is going to help. I mean, if anything else fails, I can just whack things with a sword, but, uh, I do realize that having, you know, some alternate tricks up my sleeves is, uh, good, you know, good enough. I always have to keep them guessing. Mm. Good night. Night. And as you bed down for the evening, you realize the bubble is not up yet. And you're just lying in the rain in the puddles and you're like, there's something wrong with this situation here. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble comes up, don't worry. Everybody make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Fuck all the nat 20s, baby. Sweet news. total. 19. Mm -hmm. Very 14. nice. 14. 14, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Karmic punish punishment for the baddie thing, but you it's okay have because I have inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 20 instead of a net one. Excellent. Sweet. Tight, tight, tight. Sweet. You all wake up the next morning 
Not a care in the world. All your clothes are dry. Possibly due to being in the bubble. Possibly due to pressed to digitation. We will never know. <laughs> I think we know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is breakfast made or do you guys want to get on with the getting on? We should probably maybe. eat and walk, maybe. Yeah, dry rations on the road. Okay. Just non on heart yeah, attack and jerky. Oh. Fair enough. I have trail mix with chocolate. Now, <laughs> are we going on horses or walking? But until but, we're out of this gorge. <laughs> okay. Deadly gorge. So, somebody do this math for me. Uh, oh, wait, no, I can do it for myself. Never mind, because I'm smart that it way. It was about seven hours. Uh, yes, yeah, so 20. I will say once you guys make the five hour mark, you start to see the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. The gray skies above can now be seen at the far end of this pathway. Looming above blackened trunks and branches of trees that have long withered away. But the strangest sight among all the broken earth you've been trudging through all this time stands near the end of this ravine. A broken man-made structure. Once it stood tall and ominous, but now it lies crippled and fractured. Leaning against the mountainside, is a tower seemingly molded and shaped from the surrounding rock. Its base still standing by some miracle, if only to prop up the shattered remains of the floors above. Grand stairs lead up towards the double door entryway that has long been broken and decayed with time. What would you like to do? Uh, Cult just quickly. Is everyone uh, all right? We're good. Or just take a little break. And he's already getting off of his horse, and he's backing up towards this building. And he's Guidance. just going, ghost, 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 ghost. Thank I, you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm do that. And um, because sort of, sorry, not to interrupt. Keep your keep that train of thought. But because we forgot about it one day before, and you mentioned you wanted to do it, do you want to uh, retcon and say that you did your ghost thing? He's just like a creepy old building, and I, I was sort of playing it like th the gorge is so lifeless that it might have been hard for us to find anything. No, it's it's lifeless, you know? It's probably full of dead things. You call. You call. <laughs> you, you play it the way you want to play yeah, it. No. I'll go with it. I'll play it like, like there was just not, not a lot to tap into. Okay. Uh, anything with like um, an intelligence uh, or a sentience. Yeah. Um, I kind of kind of like that, you know. Yeah. No, I'm cool with that. Restriction a little bit. Yeah. But I will, uh, I will but... offer this to you. Now he's excited. Yeah. That this seems like something that was once livable. There's potential. I'll put it out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue as you were. <laughs> well, whether the others want to take a break or not, it's pretty much you're going to have to take a little break while, while Cult just explores this. Is it still raining? Oh, yeah. Hasn't I stopped know, like, since you guys went Refill the water skins and um, give, you know, let the horses um, drink a bit. For sure. We can wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys, it's really cool. I'll oh, just be a second. And uh, he would like to make a... Uh, does this look familiar, like anything he's read about? Not that you've read about, but it does look like some sort of tower that has just collapsed over time or other. Okay. Um, he's going to try to talk to a ghost. Ooh, la, 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 la. All right. Oh. Uh, go, 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 go! What am I not proficient in that I could be? Probably... Nature or survival. Rose, you got a high survival, right? Yes. How's your nature? No. <laughs> no, I'll get. I'll. I'll go for nature because we're gonna sure. be going into a strange land that might come up. Sure. 
Sounds good to me. So, as you kind of reach out your essence, seeking some guidance on nature specifically, a kind of clouded figure does take shape. And at first, you kind of look at it and it's, it's odd because there's what look to be leaves and twigs. And they form and they shape into a humanoid kind of form. And then these two slanted, almond-shaped eyes kind of appear. And with their tree branch arms, they blow you a kiss. And then you get a Very slap cool. on the ass. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? <laughs> Cheeky um, little tree spirit. <laughs> Uh, very cool. And is there any anything else I can discern from what this building is, or what it meant, or or how long it's been Oof. Um, dilapidated? A, a basic overall. I mean, there's enough. Check them out. Yeah, there's enough vegetation kind of growing along the sides due to like the amount of rain and everything that you can tell this has been this way for some time. Um, even the door that's kind of broken down, it's. It's grown over with some green from whatever wood was constructed from it. So it's been there for a while, but there's nothing... Nothing that gives you evidence from the outside of what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And what time of night? What time of day is it? Uh, you guys would have started about 10 o'clock, so it's somewhere like 3 p.m.-ish. Okay. Uh, he's going to go back and jo rejoin them. Here you guys. Oh, we, boy, if, if we were going to camp, I would say we have to camp here because it's really cool. A tree person gave me, blew me a kiss, and I feel ready to go. Well, we still have some daylight left. Yep, and I'm going to eyes out. I know all about everything. No, I don't. I don't know anything about anything, but I feel confident. Are you okay? Well, I just excited. It's the first sort of civilization we've seen after that gorge. I get excited. I couldn't find any ghosts in there. Oh, did you want to? S Wait, what? time out. You did find a ghost. <laughs> no, in the gorge. Oh, I get you. <laughs> I mean, unless you count that almost the horse we almost killed by accident. You get a bite from your horse because. Ow! Ow! It. Stop it! They heard your conversation about killing horses. Swamp ass, I swear I will not title you when I get you home. <laughs> <sighs> oh, there's some more daddy's shenanigans going oh, on. You oh, you <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, shall we continue? Yes. Yeah, we lost some. We lost a lot of time already, so might as well. And so we shall. Wow. And we shall. And we do. Off you we do. go. Okay, I got a lot. Just gotta scroll past a lot of stuff here. Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Go up. Go up. Ah, wrong way. Okay. So, let me see here. Do what? Finally, reaching the eastern side of the mountain peaks is a brief bit of relief. Looking out at the landscape that lies ahead of you, as far as you can see to either side is a wasteland of long decayed trees. To the north, the mist from the snowcaps of the Storm Point Mountains slowly seem to tumble down and coalesce with a creeping fog that consumes the trees at its base. A black and... What is that word? I can't see it. A black and bulbous... As black and bulbous as many of the clouds in the sky above you are. To the south, they do break apart enough that the sky beyond can be seen. 
but it does nothing to change the outlook of the surrounding forest. An hour into your travels, the clouds in the distant distance seem to part enough that the half moon in the sky can be seen. Its light shines down through the tree branches, and with the help of the passing winds, animates them as if they were attempting to claw at the unwanted light. What is everybody doing? I was really expecting more, you know, alive trees. This is well, grim. Uh... Hmm. Should we set up camp? There's one thing I want to discuss with all of you before we move forward. By all means. Is there, is, would there be enough, um, like a couple more hours we could move with light or? No. Okay. So yeah, let's, uh, we'll yeah. set up camp. And what's that? Once that's done. Yeah, oh. You guys are like, to give you an idea, by the time you got to, uh, the wrecked tower there, that was about five hours of travel. After that, it was about another hour away from there before you crested the other side of the mountain range. So yeah, there's no daylight left. No. Okay, well, we'll set up camp, and once we're done with that, uh, and once everyone does what they want to do, I'll gather everyone up. So, um, Colt, you remember that talk we had back at the uh, Cobalt Reserve, where we could probably, we were thinking of maybe infiltrating trading the cult once we get there? Is that a possibility, Rose? Yes. Pretend we're, we're there to join them and, uh... I mean, an easier way would be to, if we could get our hands on some robes and then we don't even need to infiltrate, we would look like we're part of it. Well, wouldn't when people know, like, when would people wonder how we got there? No, I don't think so. Is it they don't keep tabs on their members? Or is there so many members that it's very hard to keep tabs on them? People can just sort of walk up and join. Yeah. I, when I was there, it was pretty loosey-goosey. But we would need to find robes and thus steal them off people when they notice those people missing. Or do they have like a surplus of robes? Maybe we should have stolen them from the, the cultists we encountered before. Damn it. We, at that point, we didn't know we would have to go all the way here to grab Colt's brother. Hindsight. So... <sighs> Remind me to always steal people's clothes, okay? In the future. Well then, I mean... Well, to to I... be fair, um, like, the outfit doesn't cover the head. It's like shirt pants. So, this is very recognizable to anybody who's in there. Just to put it out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, just, you just blend in anyway. Uh, we can also, you know... Maybe I was to say not to burst the bubble, but I doubt that there's any number of drow there. So if I showed up dressed as some, I'm sure it would raise suspicion immediately. Hmm. So we're probably better off going with the uh, initial idea. I've seen a couple of drow on the call before. Also, mind I'm, you, we were high as kites, so... I was gonna say, most drow would not be putting themselves out here while most of the world is trying to kill us. Nick, I'm not wrong. They are a rarity in on this continent. Like a beautiful, flawless diamond. Okay, um... <laughs> so. 
correct what response. What alternatives would we have then? Uh, is we could just basically play ourselves and uh, feel free to shoot me down. I'm just spitballing here. Is we are a band of adventurers, which we are, not a lie. Um, we've been sent on a mission. It's too hard. The pay's not good enough. We meet them, ask them, what's it, what's it all about? Say, well, this sounds way more fun than what we're doing. Uh, and say, hey, uh, why don't you show us around? Why don't you show us what you're all up to? And then um, make like we're going to join. Find tens, snatch them up, and take off. Maybe they do have like a one week free trial kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all but then you got to pay for the next three months automatically. It's a whole pyramid scheme. <laughs> Do you have to sit in for the seminar oh, to get the, the don't get me started the free drugs? Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay for your robes. No, that's taken out of your pay. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, with Hedonist Cult, it basically just offers something better than what you're currently doing. Um, we could we we can give them fake names as well. There's no need for them to know our real names or identities or whatever. Oh, I would rather nay not know. It's me. Couldn't we just go in and say, we're here to collect somebody? A uh, we could cow them into submission with intimidation. Oh, yes, we can run in guns blazing, of course. I'm not um, we run in guns blazing. We just oh. walk in um, and say, we're here to take someone home. I mean, that's not going to go well. You mentioned something like this that you left and they weren't happy about it. Well, the whole point of cult is that you're like one big happy family and your new family is are the, the, the cult member. So if someone from the outside just comes in and tries to tear that family apart, um, they're perceived as someone who's attacking. Well, didn't you say they were non-violent? No, but not not attacking with violence, but attacking your, you know, something that's very, very close and dear to you. So if if we're trying to go and save tents, uh, if we go in like, hi, we're here to take away someone you are perceiving as your family and you potentially care about, even though you've known, if you've known tents for like three days or whatever. Um, that might not go well. When I cast and me. that might jeopardize whatever move we're trying to do. Because, like, if that doesn't work, then, like, what other cards can we play, you know? That we're bringing back our own family home with us. Yeah, um, but these are, that's not rational. That, 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 you're talking rationally, and they're, they're not rational. They're high on drugs and other things, so. I'm gonna cast Magnify Gravity on a tree and destroy it. Oh, oh! As soon as you do nah. that, the tree slaps you across the head and says, "Fuck off!" No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, tree! tree. If, if they're they dead try anyway, to force honey. us not to, or try to get in the way, I, I will we... show them why they should not get in our way. Colt. Uh, Colt. Make an inside check on yourself. Uh, okay, cool. Nifty. Never done that before. Oh, no, I ignored the second roll. So wow, five? shit. That's a five. Or do you want to use luck? I wouldn't use luck for something like this. Hmm. <laughs> it's nighttime. You might as well use it. I'm still, it's not in his character. If he's being reflective on him like we'll reflecting see on it's his, because of something in your character that i'm saying this <laughs> that's the only thing would, so i don't know you know how i like to use luck would i use luck in this instance <sighs> you know what uh can everybody except for chuck take your headphones off oh snap yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, I'll let the Whispers. yeah I'll Down. let the stream kind of listen to this because this is kind of how we work our thing. Okay, so where I'm coming from is that this is straight up Nagheim saying let's just murder everybody, and I know how you felt the first time you took a life. That's where I'm coming mm. from, but I get where you're coming from too. So I'll say balls in your court totally, 
and then we're gonna at the same time count of three we're gonna flip everybody off who's making fun of us right now you ready okay okay three two one fuck y'all <laughs> okay and we're back <laughs> not you chat i freaking love you guys but yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to see just jason just i talk with my hands it's fine i'm not judging all right i talk with my um, eyebrows that's why okay. i have bangs um <laughs> i'll use i'll use the luck and i'll take the 19. okay fair enough so you know what we discussed you know which way i was thinking with that so you take it away i honestly i really be if we can't just go in and start causing all kinds of destruction willy-nilly we go in and we try to either deceive and sneak out or we go in and if we get caught we talk our way out of this i'm not going in and just decimating these people oh i wasn't not saying we were going in and attacking just if they try to stop us even if they do try to stop us it's they are uh, i don't know what the word is but they are they are deep in this belief that we are taking something that is rightfully theirs yes Another question. I don't mean to complicate things, but what if Tens doesn't want to leave with us? Well, um, unlike the rest of the cult, Tens doesn't have a choice. And you can't really say a person is rightfully owned by anyone. I it, Semantics are we will try it the diplomatic way or the deceiving way first. Please don't kill a bunch of people. Oh, I was more meaning a show of force. Because if I completely obliterate a tree in front of them... It... We could totally use intimidation tactics. I'm fine with that. I just got a little... That was very impressive. <laughs> I am. Um... I, I don't go around just killing people for fun. You threatened to burn down every building I sent you guys yeah. to, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I love it, but you do. <laughs> I've, ne I've never done it, but no. I threatened it. Yeah. And that's the big thing. I it's pee a little every time you say it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Cult's just checking. Um, all right. Well, it's, it's your brother, Cult, and Rose, you're the one who's familiar with this cult, so... Um... I'll just I'll just go with uh, whatever you think is best. I'm just putting it out there. Also, keep in mind I am not that deceptive of a person, and I am not as good as being quiet as all of you. Um, I might have a plan. <laughs> Nagheim, do you still have those medical kits? I have bandages. Perfect. We are not wrapping me in bandages. Well, why not? It's the perfect way. We can also wrap a rose in bandages. I don't think she I wouldn't be recognizable. For that's for sure. Right? What if? What if? What if? What if? Okay. What if Rose had an accident and we wrap her in bandages? And Nagheim, maybe you're just mute. You can't speak. So that way. <laughs> Colt and I can do all the talking. <laughs> Mostly Colt. We don't have to say we don't have to say Nagheim's mute. We just don't have to volunteer them to speak at all. How about we say we found one of their members who had been hurt and left behind, and we, at their behest, are bringing them back. I mean. And we're going to stay a couple days and see them settle in, show a little interest. Oh, you really do have sex all with each other. Well, that's fancy. Oh, can I have some drugs? Thank you, yum, yum, yum. And then they think they're getting more members. They also think they're getting a member back. And then when their guard is down, snatch up a brother. I am not a very decent plan. Or 
taking drugs or drinking any alcohol. Oh, you don't have to do any of you those pretend. things. pretend. We're not, not joining. No, the cult. We're, you don't even need to pretend. We're not part of it yet. So you can just, you know, express interest and be like, oh, like that sounds like fun, but I don't know. And I'll, oh, I'll be the one probably who... offer it. Yeah. And well, I you can... don't. You don't need to take it if it's offered. So I, I can still take all of it and and pretend like I'm interested. But you're my party, my adventuring friend. Is this so just an excuse for you to try drugs, Colt? Viria, make no. a perception truck. Uh, perception check. I would check. like to also perceive. Okay. Well, hold on. No, sorry, sorry. Not in perception. Uh, history check. Uh, but Rose, if you want to check the like, if cult is bullshitting or not, I'll say you can make an insight check. But Viria, history check, please. It's a ten. It's not ten. Well, you don't need much to know this. And Rose, insight, you think Cult wants to get high as shit. Like, as soon as he heard drugs, he's like, yep. Ah, Wait, what did, what did, cookie monster. What, what did she roll? Because I rolled against her. A five. A five. Uh, what you did know, you, you roll? You can't really tell. I rolled a nine. I rolled a ten on my history. Right, card. exactly. So she's thinking that all you want to do is consume drugs. Wait, do you want to consume drugs? Um, Viria, you get that he kind of probably, it's a good oh, she, excuse. She's well, a different I, thing. She's a different thing. Okay, I'm a different <laughs> thing. I okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand where you were coming from, I guess. <laughs> I got messed up on the history check. And I'm yeah, like, the history well, check is different. Oh, because, it's to remember that night at the casino, I suppose. No, it's to remember no? that okay, cult no. has wrist pocket. So any perceived drugs that he's taking, whoop, and it's not there, and he's not eating anything. But if you wanted to get high as fuck, by all means. <laughs> he would, yeah, he kind of, Rose wouldn't get this. Rose well, can't really, really tell. Then I misunderstood where you were coming from. Okay, Colt. here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. I'll, I'll go like, because if you really want to try drugs, Colt, uh, you have the pocket thing. You can, you know, pretend you're taking them and save them for later. If you really want to try, just try them in a safe space, I suppose. Not where we're trying to get your brother back from a bunch of cultists, you know? That's actually a way better plan than what I was. I was just thinking I was going to take the drugs. What a way to tie it together. Point wow. of inspiration, Viria. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. No, I appreciate the shit out of that. Super Um, Yeah, because maybe being high whilst trying to go on a rescue mission is probably not the best idea. I was just kind I mean, of too excited. As, as much as I like getting, you know, drunk and having sex, um, we're, prob we're, we're not here for that. You know. <laughs> what? I'm going to go set up the bubble. So I'm caught in my throat. I uh, just see the tree. It was what? what? Some was it something I said? Anyway. I don't know what. I don't think you said anything wrong. Here. He's just having a stroll around mm -hmm. over there. <laughs> right on. So, bubble is being set up. Rose, Viria, what are you two doing? Nothing planned, really. Just setting, helping set up camp and maybe hunting if I can for okay. decent food. Oh, snap. Okay. I'll uh, prepare the fire and prepare the potatoes for whatever Viria hunts. Okay. Nagheim, you're just bubble duty? Fair enough. Colt, as you stroll about through this decayed and dilapidated forest, make a perception check. Perceptions! Should have took that instead of nature. What are you going to do? That's a five! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Good stroll. Oh, no, you know what? Oh. We're out in the woods. New place. Lucky it is, baby. All right. Uh, Let's see that natural one. <laughs> shut your fat. <laughs> shut my fat. Oh. I couldn't. I couldn't figure out a word there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what it was after this dream. Uh, it's a thirteen. Nice little stroll, I guess. That's a nice little stroll. It's for a dead wood. Ugh. 
And I will return to the bubble. Okay. So, as the night is coming to a close, is there anything anybody want to do before they go to sleep for the night? I'm good. Okay. Me too. Now, remind me how this works again with Rose and Nagheim. With your... Um, your meditation thing. Do you guys take it in shifts or do you just go whenever you want to and then you're just awake for like the same amount of time together? Whatever. I... Yeah. So we far, no, really I think. Watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we never. We don't we need can. watch. We don't really need watch for the bubble because nothing can pass it. No, but do you like do the meditation at the same time or does one do the top half and one does the bottom half or? I don't think we really worked that out. Well, so if you I'm were to do the meditation, <laughs> if, if, if you were to do the meditation at the same time, Viria would volunteer to watch. Like we're gonna do it in shift then. Okay. Yeah, that's on brand for Viria. Yeah. I'll take the. I'll go into meditation first then. Okay. Yeah, Viria would insist on having someone, at least one person, awake at all times. Mm -hmm. so. Fair enough. All right. Well, if. Rose is there. What would Rose be doing during her non-meditation time? Um, just kind of like like this on the ground and looking at the stars, and then she would just get up and like walk around the bubble, just looking out, and then just doing the same thing, like walk around, look up, look, and then just go back on the ground and then do this. Make a perception check. Oh no, 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 you scare me. Why? Just because I turned on the scary music? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no! Eleven. Hmm. Should I roll again? You I tell me. <laughs> I will roll again. Seventeen. Hmm. Well, about the time that you are on your third pass, around the bubble, coming back in, lying on your back. You start to do that thing where you bring your feet up and try and touch the toes to the edge of the bubble just above your head, almost doing like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good body work. That you notice beyond your feet, sitting on a low branch of one of the decayed trees, head slumped and squatting on its heels with one hand resting on the trunk of it, the tree. A silhouetted figure seems to be looking in the direction of your party, its head occasionally and quizzically tilting from one side to the other, as if trying to discern what it's looking at. And that's where we're going to pick up next week. Hey! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my no. god no <laughs> more nah. give me creepy forest <laughs> oh man i'm glad we got oh to that my part gosh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness well everybody in chat thank you so much for hanging out tonight so lovely to see all you so lovely that daddy became a thing <laughs> and it was particularly chaotic <laughs> yeah but i live for it it's awesome yeah. absolutely uh so yeah thank you very much hang out uh no what am i saying we're done the show <laughs> <laughs> my brain's a little fried want, my, i was all over the place for a little bit more. at the end there we i'm not gonna more. lie yeah, I definitely want. I could go for another four hours. I'm not even joking. But we will be <laughs> back here next Sunday, same time, same channel, all that fun stuff. So until then, everybody have a great night. And as we always like to say at the end of our show, have safe, have safe, safe. safe. and avoid daddy. swamp ass. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> <laughs>